Yo, what's going on, everyone? What's popping, everybody? Welcome back. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, we are here at the live stream at the usual headquarters, guys. Uh, big shout outs to everybody out there that is tuning in this evening. I uh, have a special guest that I see in the queue, which I will let hop on momentarily. But um, let me just go with the introduction first, guys. I do these live streams every Wednesdays. 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, different topics every week. And, uh, you know, like this, uh, I know this live stream might be a little bit more uh, on the quieter side. I know the playoffs for the NBA are currently going on right now, so I, I totally understand. Uh, but uh, for anybody that is tuning in this evening, welcome, guys. Uh, have some topics I do want to talk about this evening, but I hope everybody is well out there regardless. If you guys want to hop on, I put the link, I made it available uh, right here, and it's also in the chat box as well for you that want to go on. I know a lot of people hit me up before asking me how they want to or how they can log in uh, and join the stream. So if you tap that link, if you copy that link uh, and you go to the link that it'll take you to, it'll, assuming that you're using um, you know, your mobile device or computer, wherever you're logging in from, you should be able to click on that link and go from there and put in your sign in and you could hop on as a guest and join real time with me and everybody else that's on the chat. But uh, interesting set of things that have happened in the last few uh, in the last week, actually, since I did my last live. So uh, kind of want to break down some things and uh, talk about a couple of things here. So I'm gonna let my guest that is in a queue hop on uh, right here. So. What up, what up? What up? Episode 69, baby. Let's 69. go. 69. I thought this would have never happened, but here we are. Um, you know, talking shenanigans and whatnot, man. So appreciate you hopping on, Adam. We got another guest in the building. What Yo, up, what's up? What up? What, what up? up? What up? What up? <clears throat> yeah, figured. Coach Steve Boston uh, wants a uh, res to lose. No, <laughs> that's not true at all. Motherfucker, don't misquote me. See? I read your I read your comment. I, I, yeah. I have a memory like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> of course, so you would tell, him, tell him what I actually said. Oh, don't don't that, put me that, on blast like that. King oh, that was the King series. Okay. Yeah, that was the King series. What did I, I tell you specifically? Nah. Oh, I mean, yeah, if, you want to, if you want to jump right into this, then we could jump right into this. We're gonna jump right into the NBA playoffs, okay? So they, since you guys want to talk about that. You guys want to talk about and talk about the the Lakers versus Warriors series? Um, we might as well talk about it because this may be the last time that uh, the Warriors are in the twenty twenty three play postseason. And also, there are rumors that this is the last time that we are going to see our big three together as well. So, Why? Who's leaving? Who's leaving? Well, there's there's a lot of rumors that Draymond Green is going to get the boot. Um, there's also rumors that potentially um, Jordan Poole's contract will be waived. Um, I mean, I don't Jordan Poole done shit, so like that, I guess. I mean, yeah, but I don't know how that's possible to do, considering you just signed him for an ex uh, to a contract extension. Like they'd have to there's pay him ways out. out of everything, bro. Huh? There's there's ways out of everything. I mean, it took Westbrook like for you guys to get rid of him. It took like a season and a half, right? Like for you guys to get to give him the boot, but you know, yeah. Um, I, we we, we trade we traded him. My so my thing is with this, right? Like I get all the hoopla that's going on with Jordan Poole. I, I've heard everything from he's a bum to y'all invested and wasted your money on this guy. You got to understand that Jordan Poole is a young kid. And like, he's a role player. Well, he is. I mean, but you got to you got to understand too. He's twenty three years old. I just looked it up right now. He's 23 years old. Dude, he's only 23. Look. Seems like he's been there for a while. No. <laughs> he hasn't. Like he's he been might, with he the must Warriors. Be stressed out in his life or something. So he joined the Warriors back in so he started off with the Santa Cruz Warriors, which was pretty much like the the G, the D League of the Warriors. And he started there in 2019. Right. So he's kind of right. jumped back and forth between them and Golden State. But because of his explosive performance that he had last season, they were like, yo, like, get this guy on board. And the Warriors have done that with a couple of their roster in the last, like, 
few seasons here. But um, the salary that he got, you know, was assuming he was going to play the way he did last season, and he clearly did not this season. So there's that aspect of it. But also you got to also understand that the salaries of players like Draymond, Clay, Steph, the Warriors can't afford to continue paying these players these types of salaries. So it just it just doesn't it, it's not realistic. Nope. So I mean, understandably so if that is if this is the last time that we will see the big three together, then you know, it was one hell of a ride. Yes, I'm sad, but at the same time I I get it, it's a business first. And, you know, I just hope that if the Warriors do get eliminated tonight, that the Lakers do not advance. <laughs> per- personally, <laughs> I personally, I think I respectfully. y'all are going to win tonight, personally. I honestly, I think it ends tonight. I think our morale shot so damn low. The fact that we lost the way we did these last two games just goes to show, like, there's yeah, something else. Seven going games on. against the Kings. Huh? <laughs> it took y'all seven games to beat the King. <laughs> well, hey, I didn't say it. Before this season started, I was – or before this round started, I was like, yo, this is not going to be a sweep. By no means is it going to be a sweep. I said I said Warriors in six, but I guess I'm wrong. I mean, this is all, it's looking like it's going to be Lakers in five. But I, I didn't say anywhere in my resume or whatever that this shit was going to end in a sweep. Uh, resume. A resume. resume. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Yo, oh, what up? What, what up? up? What up, King? What up, man? Wait, what? what what's your name tonight? It's always gonna be Poppy Shampoo. No, I don't. I remember. I remember. What was it? Kimberly was my girlfriend or some shit. Oh yeah, or my wife daddy. or something. Baby uh, daddy. It's baby daddy, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big shout outs though to Isaac uh, Arrows um, in the Jersey community actually gifting me this hat. This was actually a hat that he sent me in uh, in the Kings Warriors series. So we made a bet, and basically oh, you won the hat. Yeah, he mailed it to me, and he put in the notes, "Go LeBron," or "LeBron's got this." So <laughs> <laughs> big shout outs to Isaac. Uh, but you know, he's a man of his word. Great bet, and uh, I'm just glad it worked in my favor. But um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, I think this is the last time we're gonna see the big three. For Golden State, man, man, you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a, you sound like a sore ass loser, bro. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a sore ass loser. If I'm just saying, if this is the last time, I'm not like salty. They lose, I'm not they, lose, they lose. They lose a playoff game. Oh man, they're gonna, they're gonna shut. No, nah, bro, they're gonna lose the series. Like they're not coming back from a three-one deficit. You never know. You gotta they're, believe. No, they're not. They're not it like and this is coming from <laughs> this is coming from somebody who's like dubs all day. Like I fucking love this. This is coming game. from someone who watched not, the two thousand four Red Sox fucking go down three zero against the Yankees, came back and swept four games. You gotta not, believe, bro. Nah, we're done. Now bro. I want the Warriors to come back, so let's see what Red says. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> if they come back, if they come back to I'm a game seven with a fan. Nah, I'm a realist, bro. That's first and foremost. I'm a realist, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like Mighty. Love you, Mighty, but I'm not gonna be like Mighty where I'm gonna write a whole fucking novel <laughs> on my Facebook <laughs> about how the fucking Warriors did this and and you know guns blazing. Yo, like, shout out to my Warriors. I've been dying. Thank you for a great season. I nah. love you guys. I, I already said it. I was like, yo, they're not gonna win without a bench. That's what I've been saying since the beginning of this shit. Um, but uh, Sixers versus Celtics. No, we're not talking about that. You guys have any input on that? No, no we're not I, talking I figured, about that. I figured Mighty would have been in here, and and nah, uh, man, we don't need to talk about that. We're gonna move right past that. <laughs> uh, but it's looking good. looking like Sixers gonna be in the Eastern Conference. We still got two more games oh, to play. We got we got two more games to play. Yo, what do you mean? Prediction. I should have made this. I should have made a. Made it clear. I put an asterisk. This is my prediction. Okay, so oh. this is what I'm predicting. <laughs> like, really... We still got two more games to play. Relax, homie. All right. Well, the one that I'm looking forward to is the Suns versus Nuggets because this is honestly like I, Denver has never won any championships in their franchise at all. It would be nice to see the Nuggets finally pull it off. They never won an ABA title. 
That would count. <laughs> if you want to count NBA, I mean, shit, I'm talking about NBA. I'm That's like the about Eagles. I mean, like why not? Championship. Not a Super Bowl. I mean, they, I don't – correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they've won any championship titles in the NBA. I could okay. be wrong. The no, team. they never they never won in the NBA, but I think they won in ABA. What up, what up? Yeah, I'm the not Suns, counting. The, the, Suns, the Suns either, right? The Suns never won a championship. That just goes to show, no. though, how long how long has been since they they won anything. It's always they're, like the, the Nuggets have always been injury plagued, like with Jamal Murray and even with Melo, like back in the day, and they just have not been consistent with it. But it seems like this season, like they got all their squad, everybody's healthy. Uh, with Jokic, uh, Jamal Murray, uh, Aaron Gordon, like those guys, you know, those are like their 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 core for the squad. Um, but I think honestly, the, with the way things are going, I think it's going to be Nuggets coming out of that series. I think the Nuggets, might, uh, the Nuggets versus the Lakers, it's a better. So, so, so to answer y'all's question about the Phoenix Suns, uh, no, they don't have you a asked, championship. You asked a question about the Phoenix Suns. No, they don't have a championship. They've been to the finals oh. three times. I was talking about the Nuggets. No, and the, 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 the Nuggets don't have a title either. No. So neither team have won a championship, then. No. Nope. You're saying. Okay. Yep, exactly. Well, it'll be interesting if one of those teams actually pulled it off in the West and uh, won it all. Because I'm sure you, Pistol, you'd probably be salty as hell if the Suns won. But. Yeah, you as long as, 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 just as long as they ain't them motherfuckers of the Celtics, I'm good. I think Chris Paul. I think Chris Paul. Here's here's my spin on it. If the Celtics oh, right? lose the next game, right, and the 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 Sixers move on, I want the Sixers to make it to the finals. I want it to go to Game Seven. <laughs> I want them to lose <laughs> on a last second shot. Because fuck oh, them. Man. I want Neil to fucking suffer like he has never suffered before. Get so fucking close. This close. Yeah, and then they blow. Would this be like the first time that like, the, the Phillies lost, the, the the Eagles lost, and if the Sixers go to the finals, the, like all Philly teams go to the finals in one season? That's crazy. Oh, I fucking hope so. I'd be so fucking happy. I think. I think this season we're gonna we're gonna see something somebody win different this time. I think the outcome is gonna be different. Like it's not gonna be your true. I mean, because Bucks are out. Like I was expecting the Bucks or Celtics to come out in the East, but I don't know anymore. I think it's gonna end up being Philly in the Eastern Conference to represent that um, conference out there. And then in the West, I think it's gonna be it's gonna come down to the Nuggets and the Lakers. Um, but. No, I don't no, know. Should be nuggets for a couple weeks. <laughs> I, I think I think the I think the Lakers can beat all the Nuggets if the Nuggets advance. I, yeah, I think yeah, so we, too. We, we've already beaten them twice without everybody too. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, really, like, I, I want to see. I'm not a Lakers fan, but I want to see LeBron win, a, win another championship. I don't want to see LeBron. I'm gonna give you a LeBron, LeBron James Laker jersey. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind Bron winning a championship, but not in LA. Okay, I do. I mind. Yeah, so we're are we just gonna leave out the Knicks and the Heat? Come on, man. What's going on with them? It's it's like like the Knicks are right now. The finals, so what does it matter? I mean, shit. Looks like uh, Miami's gonna hit the last nail in the coffin for that series because Knicks are not playing good. I mean, no, I know they did well. Right, right now, it's a shame. But it's a shame because I actually kind of, I, I, I was kind of hoping the Knicks would make it to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Celtics. I mean, who, who would it? I mean, we, the Knicks. Have we could, we, we can beat them, and then we can beat whoever comes out the West in the fi- in the finals, and that'd be beautiful. And beating but shit like, out of them. Stop it. <laughs> well, it's looking like uh, well, this is a close game because right now it's fourth quarter. Knicks lead by six. It's ninety nine ninety three. Knicks lead. That's all right. Hemi Buck is gonna step up. Well, they have uh, don't, they have Brunson, right? Jalen Brunson. Yeah. Yeah. See, Dallas made a mistake letting him go. They shouldn't have let him go. But uh, yeah. So Kyrie, man, so. What's what's your guys' prediction in the final uh, final two? Of the- I want the Lakers Lakers versus uh, Miami Heat rematch. So the bubble. The bubble, well, does, that, does that mean the bubble? If, if the Lakers win it, does that mean the bubble championship counts now? 
I don't understand why people talk shit about the bubble champion. I think you know why it is because LeBron won the championship. Because if it was somebody else, they would not said, "Oh, that's the bubble championship." Yeah, Cause, exactly. Because <laughs> if it was somebody else, if it was somebody like everybody. Okay, imagine like Damian Lillard in the Blazers. Yes, they did. Everybody like, oh yeah, my the god, Union lost too. The soccer team? Oh, I didn't know. Who's their soccer yeah, they team? Did. They lost the, the Philadelphia Union. Lost to I think it was LAFC in the. Uh, the MLS uh, finals. Interesting. So, like, they're pretty much. So they would lose literally every championship they could possibly lose. So, so basically, you're calling them the city of choking love, man. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. the city of choking love. No disrespect. Wow. No disrespect. I'm just saying. I'm just calling That's it like it's the, <laughs> si- the city of loving choking. He's just he's just shitting out. He's just shitting out the whole city. <laughs> oh. They're gonna, they're gonna come for you now. Mighty's gonna come on here. Ah, now listen I here, Mister Raz. Every time, point. every time you make a point against, against, uh, against him, he'll, he'll be like, "What's your team? Who's your team? The Raider." I'm like, "All right, here we go." <laughs> <laughs> so he can't just take a. Oh no, Neil, up Neil can trash talk team. when it comes to sports. Yeah, I, I'll talk to. Okay. I'll yeah, talk, he knows. He has the capability of talking. I'll give you that much. I know. I know he, he can dish it. Nah, I, I think I'm the only one that can touch a he nerve. He can dish man. it. He can't take it though. Philly, the Flyers. Oh no, I'm I, just I have kidding, a couple Neil. times, Albert. It's about the Flyers. Oh, Flyers ain't um, shit. <laughs> flyers are literally. Oh my shirt, so I can't say nothing. Um, we're on the same level. <clears throat> all right, so some Jersey talk because I know people were saying that. You know, we didn't really talk about jerseys too much. I do want to talk about jerseys and dedicate right, a cool. segment to this. But I want to – I don't know if you guys – I'm sure you guys have seen this. Uh, Shout-outs to Kings of Throwbacks. Did you uh, Did you pick up anything on the 40% sale? I did not, actually. I was actually – so I was I was considering buying the, the Seattle Kraken Reverse 2.0 because um, it's on sale. It's, like, mad cheap right now for, like, 90 yeah. bucks. Yeah, but I haven't pulled the trigger because I'm like, man, like I don't, I don't know, like I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. Like to be honest, like my other ones, I don't, I barely wear. Like, so it's like I don't know, like if I'm gonna get it or not. But yes, I think you answered your own question. Exactly. You know, I'd rather put something on my on my rack that I know I would wear like pretty regularly, Um, even though it's a dope jersey. It's just you You don't exactly live in a climate where like you can really wear hockey jerseys. Well, it's, see, it's tough because I live in San Jose, so there's like sharks fans everywhere. Yeah. So like, I don't want no sharks coming at me, chomping away. Like, it's hard for me to wear unless you wear like a freaking. And you like, can tell, and that's when you can tell, like, yo, I'm a sharks right. fan, but we ain't shit. This is a team that's actually relevant in the well, NHL right now. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's why their shit is selling. I was like watching like speaking like, of hockey jerseys, I got so mad at my uh, hockey pickup. Uh, I I saw I. Uh, Ended up sending it back to Fanatics. I was so mad when I got it. The Gretzky. Oh, you, you grabbed one cool. of the blue lines, right? So yeah, that actually. That for, oh, here we go. I mean, the jersey's good, but I, not the price. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I wasn't yeah. going to get on. The but back. I won't want to talk your stuff ah. about you when I'm on here. Oh, man. Now I'm here. here. We got the bat signal. Like- <laughs> now I'm here. There's a Liberty Go Bell on. in the sky. <laughs> the Liberty Bell signal. You have to remember something. Oh, oh shit. I keep it a buck every time. I watch <laughs> these teams. I live this. So if, you want, if you guys want to have your little fun, have your little fun. But I'm the one that's the fan that watches. You all can laugh. You can have your little fun, jokey, jokey time. But I am the one that have kept it real. I've told you from day one. These are my teams. I follow them. If you guys have a problem with it, I don't give a crap. This is my home. Mm-hmm. These are my teams, and I will live and die with them. Go Sixers! <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me no, no, no. Let me tell you something, okay? Because look, that moment, that moment in Game Four, when when Marcus Smart, okay, short rim that pass that would have won the game. Guess what, Boston? You just have to live with that because I have to live with twenty-two years of that type of crap. You got to live with that now. And you going to tell me about my teams losing the championships? I'm sorry. Did the Boston Bruins not have 
the most <laughs> fucking points in the history of hockey, oh. and they lose to the Florida Panthers. Everybody's so losing to the Florida Panthers, down. Neil. That's a choke job. And when your team's up 2-1 and can't close it out in Philly, and we come back on you, that's a choke job. Maybe Boston's the choke town now. Yo, Maybe dude. they're the choke town now. You unleash the beast. <laughs> I didn't, yo, yo, talk about me. Said, talk about me when I'm right fucking here. <laughs> I said the Sixers were coming out of the East. I didn't say shit about this club. I got snacks telling say this stuff about me like it always does. Because I was right about Ben Simmons. The guy's a loser. <laughs> Brooklyn, they, they had to find out in person. No, I relax. Relax, relax, relax. He's relax. a loser. Relax. I told you about him. Relax. But no, no. We, we, have to, we have to forget that I was right about him. Nobody I was right. Who's bringing up Ben Simmons? <laughs> so you said you were yes. I didn't bring up Ben Simmons. Yeah, relax, bro. Damn. When I'm here. Relax. Nobody's talk your question. shit. Nobody's when I'm not here. Your talk fandom. it. When I'm right Who's here. This fandom. Nobody's questioning. God damn it. Relax, bro. <laughs> relax. Don't tell me to let, fucking let, relax. Let, let you are talking shit ben about me. Tell you when I'm right here. Shit. We're not talking shit about I'm you. Shit. It's all right, Mike. <laughs> Damn, you are Neil. Right, you are talking about my town being a choke town. Go ahead and say it when I'm right. Oh. Fucking here. We're spitting facts. The fly, the Phillies lost. The Eagles yeah, lost. Yeah, they lost. They lost the dynasty. How is that talking shit about that? They lost the dynasties. What, what do you okay. want? What we're we're talking fast. Let me tell you, not, me tell you something. Not, we're not let me tell you something. Oh, you're, yeah. you're, when the you're, Sixers you're... win and I'm on Broad Street, I'm gonna be the one. All right? Because okay. okay, if they lose, if they I'm gonna to wait me. for that paragraph on, on Facebook. I made I made a video that I didn't post. Okay, I made a video that I didn't post after the Eagles lost the Super Bowl because I got real emotional. I said, listen. I understand we lost to the better team, and it was a it was a tough game. It was a hard-fought game. I got emotional. I was crying. I didn't post the video because I thought, I don't, you know, I just can't do it. I said, my mom has breast cancer. My dad has health problems. I said, I could have used this, this one thing. It didn't happen, okay? But it means something to me. And And I didn't post the video, and I felt bad about not posting the video. But I put my heart into that. So, you know, life is what it is. And I understand sports is just a little part of life. But to me, it's a big – this is this is home. This is what it is. These are my teams. I live and die – mostly die. But I live and die with them. I'm always there. You talk about the Flyers sucking? I know the Flyers suck. Guess what? I still want the Flyers games this year. No, I, I can't say. Well, I watch Mighty, I'm going to cut you off, but no, no but one, I'm always no one there, here is questioning your I'm always your keeping it real. Nobody's no questioning one, no one, No one's like all. saying anything that you're a fake fan, Neil. Like, Nobody's saying none of that. Nobody, like, no, you're you're like you came on and like started screaming or whatever, and like, bro, we know you're legit. About me, and I'm not here to defend myself, so I come on to defend myself. That's what it is. You guys we, we didn't talk about Neil, that we were making we jokes. That's right all. I don't know. I don't know if you noticed, Neil, but these lives are intended to have fun and laugh, not like attack a person's personally. Like, no, we're, we're, like we're making we're, we're making jokes, Neil. Everyone, it, like you make jokes about people too. Like we all, we're just making jokes. It's not a personal attack against you, bro. Like y'all need to. You're coming on here like having a coronary or whatever, and like y'all, it's not like that at all. That's not how I saw it, but maybe I was wrong. I I'm sorry you feel that way, but I can I can speak for myself, and I'm sure I can speak for everybody else. Like, dude, like, it's Neil, not that. I came what? I came from a toxic ass community to where they've done that all the time. I've I love this community. I come to this community because this is where I come from. But what we were saying the, the is. Uh, what we were saying was the Philadelphia, um, it's just a rough year for them because they lost the Super Bowl, they lost the World Series. That's all it was. We didn't say we didn't say Neil's a fake man or nothing like well, that. I, mean, I know it's been a rough I mean it's been fun. And, and you gotta remember, Neil, I'm Who dating a, a Philadelphia fan. I'm dating one. 
I, I, I've I've shared the tears with her because a the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. I hate that, and she wanted this this Super Bowl so badly because uh, her son's getting ready to go to the Navy. It's the last Super Bowl she going to watch with him for a while and she wanted her team to win there was some tears man it was tears shed and and you got to remember five six years before that i trashed philadelphia teams because i i caught hell from eagle fans and philly fans on here on the internet but now that i'm dating one i understand the passion <laughs> can, and I, can I just and I've take it away from I and I've and I've taken a break from trash dog because I can't really do stuff like that no more if, because if I, health. <laughs> if I could just interject here for a second, uh, these live streams are not meant to personally attack a person. There's a lot of shits and giggles that happen here every live. Sometimes it's geared towards me. Sometimes it's geared towards uh, Poppy Shampoo. Sometimes it's geared through Adam, Pistol, it, it, and even you, Mighty. Like, it, nobody here is targeting anyone whatsoever. Like, it, I've never seen... Just joke, bro. That's all. I've never seen somebody as upset as you were just now. And I want you to know that we all consider you a good friend of us. We consider you a good friend of the community. By no means are we questioning your allegiance you know, to your fandoms. We know you're Philly all the way. I know, we know you bleed Philly. And Neil, I've literally stayed over your house twice, bro. Like it's it's, that, it's yeah. just jokes. It's not it's not a personal attack against you. It's just us that. having some fun. That's all. Y'all are doing really fucking good right now, regardless I, if you lose I, the championship. You all saying, you know, choke city, this and that. I guess it just it just got got me. I mean, you know, I mean that's cool. that's fine. You know, you're passionate I mean, about you your know, shit, but I, like I, you can't be here. Say what we're gonna say, but. At the end of the day, th this is home. So you know, you I gotta... get, no, Neil, I get that, but like, like y'all came in here, like, talk, like acting reckless or whatever, and like, it's not that serious. Like, it's, it's, it, uh, like, I understand you feel how you feel, but like, damn, bro, y'all came in here, damn near had a heart attack on Rez's yeah, live. Yeah, be great with the I, views, but like, it wouldn't that, be. <laughs> that that's because I bring the ruckus. That's why. <laughs> that's all it is. I, yeah, I as get as soon as I get your passion. Brokenly love. You had to come in here. Well, you know what? And just to echo uh, Throwback King's statement, this is why he doesn't allow sports talk on Kings. Because shit right. like this can be interpreted in so many uh, different ways. I know I'm not going to be like – I'm not going to be like that. Like, obviously, like, I try to refrain from posting how I feel about, like, sports teams on Kings because I know that it might strike a chord with someone. I don't know if you noticed this. But last week when I was featured on the news, I don't know if you saw my post, but one of my posts, it it, it generated some conversations between some fellow Laker fans, and uh, it was kind of interpreted the wrong way. And, you know, I just had to kind of step back for a second and be like, look, this is just, first and foremost, this is just sports. Like, it has nothing to do with me personally whatsoever it's just but that's just the nature of it like fans like people react a certain type of way i get it like there's times when i go on rants to myself and i have to catch myself and realize like yo this shit is having like a psychological effect on me and as funny as it sounds i get where you're coming from in that sense because it is a part of you and you invest so many time so much time and money into it but you also got to understand at the end of the day what it's just sports like first and foremost that's the core of it it's it's sports like you're a sports fan you know but sometimes it could get interpreted in so many different ways the fact that we're all jersey heads here and we collect different jerseys a lot of people don't understand it no like, they don't they don't they don't get it they're like how could you wear something that you're not a fan of well first and foremost you're a sports fan i have to say that like i'm a i'm a sports fan first but a lot of people most of the time are like well how are you going to wear that if you're a team, a fan of this team, and stuff like that. So it's yeah, it's, it, it does have a it does have an effect. Like there, there's people out there that just don't understand, and they the first thing they want to do is judge somebody. Yeah, like I've I mean, gone we, through we, it. Like, like somebody, like uh, there's a reason why I kind of push myself away from collecting other teams because uh, I got I got crucified for it. I, well, and I've been and I've been kicked out of teams groups because of it it's so. it's just it's really it's really sad because 
I, I feel that I know where you're coming from, Pistol, because I, I get I get like I feel that energy sometimes from people. And I know a lot of people say, well, who cares? Who cares what they think? It's like, well, dude, like when you're hearing that shit every day, that shit could like get to you. If somebody yeah, came up yeah. to you every day and started body shaming you, you think that shit, you're like, I don't give a fuck what they say. But you, do you really think, though, that's not going to have an effect on you? No, it will have an effect on you. And some like yeah, whether yeah. it might not be physically, but like mentally, like it'll fuck with you. Like if you hear constantly hear it all the freaking time, you start to get like just desensitized <clears throat> and, you know, like takes over you and you don't even realize it. So I get it. And and again, I just want to make myself clear, like Mighty, like we all love you, man. Like, yeah, and, and that's why it's we, not, don't, we don't need any videos. disrespect. I guess I just had a lot of emotion in me. It just it came out like a volcano. So I'm sorry, guys. Just been dealing with a lot of stuff. It's just I feel you, it's man. been hard. And we're we're all here for you, man. And there's a reason. But why I don't I, I don't, I don't burden videos. people with my own, you know, things because. I just don't think, you know, I just don't think it's, it's, it's right. You know, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of crap, you know, we've known each other over decades, like 14 years where we're all supposed to be here for each other. And whether, whether you think, uh, I, I don't think, I don't know, but you could, you could talk to me. I just don't. I, I'm just the type that I just don't want to burden people. You know, I, I you know, you you That's ain't just, burdening anybody. And it just comes out, you know, and it's unfortunate. No, but nah, so I, I, mean, I apologize, fellas. You're good. I haven't been. Well, I want to make sure you're good. I want to make sure you're good because I, I don't. I'm good. I just like I said. I guess I just. I don't know. I heard some things that were. Miss <laughs> Miss heard or whatever, and I just no, I mean, you heard what you heard, probably, but like, yeah. Neil, it's, it's Mount, just uh, Joe. It's Mount just Joe, was ready to erupt, I guess. I don't know. Mount Mighty fucking erupted, bro. What the fuck you mean? Well, you saw me at that McDonald's that day, Adam. And... Yeah, I know, McFuck. <laughs> well, what, what, what happened at the McDonald's? Tell us that story. All right, Neil, it's your uh, story to tell. You go ahead. Uh, he looks like he's falling asleep right now. He's eager to I hear the story. Yeah. Uh, looking at the screen. <laughs> so, so last year, I uh, uh, by accident, I I you know, I was a vegetarian. I'm still, I don't eat uh, cow, but um, okay. I started eating meat, and we went to McDonald's. Now you have to understand, I've gone my whole life until last year without trying to place an order. At McDonald's, right? So I tried to place an order through the app for the first time. I, mean, I guess I must have done so. I don't know. Who, I don't know who made the mistake, but I thought I ordered a couple of those uh, McChicken sandwiches, and they had one in the bag. And I said, "Well, I, mean, I, I thought I ordered two. And the guy started. You know, that we were there late at night, and and the workers weren't really helpful. And yeah, he had some other people there that were kind of just. I don't know what they were doing. They were there. And right. the guy behind the counter looked like an, an old Allen Iverson. I mean, he had the cornrow still. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's never disrespect <laughs> Allen Iverson like that, man. What's wrong, what's wrong with you, man? I know. Don't talk about Allen Iverson like that, man. What's wrong with you, man? But he oh, looked man. like Allen Iverson. He looked like an old Allen Iverson. Like, if Allen Iverson was old and working at McDonald's, it would be him. <laughs> Oh shit! But like, and like fifty year like old after, Iverson, you know, you how always, old he is? You always, uh, you always think of the best stuff afterwards. So I'm like walking to the car. It's like, oh man, I should have said, "Hey, Alan Iverson, you haven't aged well," or something like that to him. It hasn't gone very well for you since the the. This is what happened with all your money, but um. Anyhow, he, you know, it. it he 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 was kind of, he was given all sorts of attitude like he was given attitude and it was late and I was you know I was angry I was angry so so uh, as we were leaving I I said I started saying stuff like you know I can go to Wendy's I can go to Bur I tried to think of every fast food place you know just to you know give my two cents and then as I was leaving I I I don't know it just came to me and I just yelled McFuck. And I and I let and Adam was with me, 
and we left. <laughs> it was and, so goddamn and the, funny. The, the girls in there, they were like, I don't know, high school or whatever, some girls and the guys, and yeah, they, they they started going, ooh. And I, I thought they were like gonna start chasing after me. I was ready. You know, I mean, whatever. If, <laughs> yeah, I, I was ready to throw down with some high school. Ready, if so. I had to swing the bag, I would have swung the bag. But you know, it, it um so but, so uh, Wait, so you were you were frustrated because you couldn't get the app right, and this guy, this Allen Iverson, I thought I like placed this. the order correctly. <laughs> they didn't give me every whatever the everything I thought I ordered, and this is my first time trying to order on the app. So, yes, yes, so maybe there was a mistake. I don't even know. I got you. Yeah. But so it uh. Just yeah, nearly on how like fuck is gonna be like YouTube video, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sitting in like a retirement home with like dementia or something, and I'm just gonna be like McFuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that it something like, in a? I, 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 I it just kind of came out like McFuck, you know, as I as I was leaving the 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 uh, the the. Now what, was Slim with you guys? Right. Slim was in the car. Oh, and yeah. then Slim ended up going in there and getting some food. At first he did he didn't want anything, and then he went in to get something a little later. And I'm like, well, good luck in there. And he got what he needed, um, and then we went back to my place and ate because it was right nearby. Oh yeah. All right. Have I want to go back to that McDonald's since. Yeah. I just haven't gone there at night. <laughs> I don't want to see old I don't so want to see old man Iverson in there. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to uh, I want to go back a little bit. I want to backpedal a little bit before. Can we please not talk about the playoffs? No, we're not going to talk about the playoffs anymore. I think we're, we're good with that. Okay. Anyway, before, but I, I do, do uh, want to talk about some Jersey stuff real quick uh, because a lot of people have um, been kind of buzzing about it. Myself, I was a little curious about this, and I actually might make a video on this real quick. Uh, but I'm gonna reach out to the the person um, that posted these pictures. So I just want to give a big shout out to Eric Cuevas, if I'm saying that correctly, on Kings of Throwbacks, because he actually posted um, some images of a new jersey that he received, which are the new Nike Fuse uh, jerseys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I, I know this kind of this ties into uh, what you were saying, Pistol, about your hockey jersey that you recently got. Yeah, about that. So anyway. Um, I ended up taking that um, to Fanatics, and uh, this is the first time in my life I opened a jersey out of a package and saying, what the fuck is this? <laughs> because over $200, right, you're expecting authentic. But then I'm, I'm feeling, scratching it. I call, I call Snacks. I go, hey, um, they're downgrading hockey jerseys. Is this authentic or is this a swing man? Uh, Albert's like, this is a swing man. I'm like, oh, man, for this kind of price, really? So I ended up sending it back. I'm like, that's unacceptable. What up, Sam? Uh, yes. And last oh. hockey jersey I purchased from Mitchell Ness. <laughs> so, Yo, real so, quick before you get in that, Riz, I gotta, I gotta hop off. I got something I gotta do. So I'll, uh, I wish y'all have a good night, and uh, I'll probably end up watching the replay later. All right, bro. Take, all right, take all right. care. Take yeah. care, Adam. Um, nice. All right. So I'm gonna share my screen real quick and just show you guys uh, right here what these images look like. If you have not seen them yet. Um, but basically they are replaced to my understanding. They're going to be replacing the current limited, uh, Nike jerseys, which are basically like the middle tier of NFL jerseys currently. Right. Right. Here. Basically here. swing man. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah. All right. So this right here is pretty much, um, a Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen hurts. Uh, it's the newer Nike fuse jerseys that I believe we're going to be coming out next season. Um, that but the, basically, uh, from a first glance, it looks good. But as they switch the photos on the images, uh, here you can see the eagle side patch, uh, which it looks to be embroidered on along with the Nike logo, which they didn't really change much there. But then this third image here is where I really was kind of like, okay, yeah, they really dropped the ball on this. Because if you look at the numbers here, you could see that they are basically – vinyl press so they are not actually stitched on anymore and um, a lot of the previous nike limited jerseys were at least single stitched so what that means for 
quality wise is it's basically gone down again. So it's it's pretty much equivalent now to the current Nike NBA and Mitchell and that Swingman's um, that they are currently releasing, and also looks like similar quality as the to the Legacy Blue line that um, Pistol returned. So I don't know. Uh, here, let me go through the other images. Uh, everything else still seems to be uh, similar. Uh, looks like you have the rubberized NFL shield with that, ch um, like the chain mesh on the neck collar. And then here's the jog tag. Now it looks a little bit different than it did. Um, looks more like a um, NBA swingman currently jog tag. And here's the back of the jersey. And yeah, it just does not look good, guys. So um, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Well, I mean, I think I know for most of us what we guys think. First of, first of all, shout out to Tony. He made the prediction a year ago. Tony, who? Oh, uh, yeah, you're talking about POB. Yeah, POB. He, yeah, yeah, he, he, he hit me up. He's a, he said, hey, enjoy enjoy uh, your uh, NFL Nike Limited uh, as much as you can because they're going to change them up uh, the following season. Yeah. So he got he got first hand uh, first class information on it, but we didn't. He see and he and he informed me that it was going to look similar uh, to how the NBA does their swingman, but. Uh, based on uh, what that dude uh, posted and uh, the pictures and, and the quality, it's just terrible, especially for that price. I mean, I could see uh, spending maybe ninety to a hundred on that jersey. Yeah, that's different, but yeah, that's that's just bad. So, um, do you guys happen to know the retail on this on this newer limited? One, one set, one seventy five plus tax and shipping, probably no, about two hundred dollars, damn near. Wow, oh, yeah, that, that can't be real. That's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's that's crazy. I, I I don't. If that's the case, then that's definitely they're out. They're ripping people off. <laughs> I mean, can you uh, show the back picture again, Res? Yeah, let me share my screen. Again. I, it looks fake. Yeah, uh, no, right. It looks like a fake thing. jersey. You know. I have I mean, not. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying. It looks like oh goodness. Here, let me get it. Ah, uh, yeah, that that definitely hurts. It's like a huge <clears throat> name, like the the nameplate is humongous. Yeah, I I don't. I mean, I I can't. I I've never seen one in hand. I uh, but I think looking at these pictures is is enough for me. That's all I need to see, really, because. Uh, yeah, one seventy five. Like literally, NBA Authentics are going for like two hundred dollars right now on the Nike website, and you're paying that's twenty five dollar difference, basically, and you're getting that downgrade uh, tier of quality here. And uh, again, you know, I I don't know what it means for the jersey community moving forward. Like I I obviously know like now it's like everybody. It's sad because the people that came after us who started collecting are never really going to know what it truly is like to have hold something with genuine. Well, that, that's quality. that's the beauty of eBay. You know, <laughs> they sell you, you get eBay. That's not a, you can buy things that ain't in production no more like throwbacks. So that's what's the beauty. Thing, that's the beautiful thing about eBay. Yeah. Yeah, so at, at, at the end of the day, it what it all comes down to is informing yourself. I think informing self-informing yourself and others is very key because it, it'll it'll really give this newer generation of col jersey collecting uh, a guide of what they're buying and what it is like i'm still getting comments on one of my videos that i did a couple of years back where i was basically comparing my tim duncan um legacy swingman jersey um compared to you know some of the older stuff that i owned and uh, I remember I bought a David Robinson jersey that was a swingman. And that jersey, like the little um, – I keep forgetting what that what that thing is. What is it the, like the – with the Spurs logo? What is it called again? The, the fork? The, the, the spur? I mean, the spur, I yeah, like the little thing with the, the – <laughs> Yeah. 
So like that thing was like it was already peeling, and this was a brand new jersey. I I got it from like Lids when they had like that thirty percent sale. I was like, oh, it's a decent price. This is before I knew about like what swingmen's are now looking like in quality. And um, I as soon as I saw it in hand, I was just like, you pistol. I was like, no, I'm not keeping this. I'm getting rid of this. I'm gonna return it. And I did just that. And um, a lot of people were commenting on that video, still saying like, you know. I wish I had seen your video sooner because I already started buying a bunch of swingmans, not really knowing, you know, what I was getting. And I think that's the important thing is understanding the consumer, understanding what they're buying. Cause a lot of people spend, I like, I, I work hard. We all work hard, but I'm not, I don't want my money going towards something that's going to fall apart after one wash. Right, one. Exactly. Especially uh, that kind of money. Yeah. And people are just going to gobble it up. Like, I can't tell you how many times like I've gotten bamboozled like buying something like the from the newer swingman line and it's just cheap. Like it's not worth nowhere near what people and, are trying. And what kills me about that hockey, the Gretzky jersey, they they fucking patch it up. Like they never since when do they patch swingman jerseys, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. This this newer wave of uh replica <clears throat> jerseys are not it, it's no bueno, man. So I don't know what that means for for Jersey collectors like ourselves. But I, I will say this, though, that the, the fanatic brand uh, hockey jerseys or replica, whatever, they're not really that's not even bad quality. And it's cheaper. It was yeah. cheaper than that. Well, legacy jersey. I mean, I, I have thing. the only reason why they're upping that price is because it's a, a, a throwback. You know what I mean? And. It, it sucks. It sucks because yeah, we all the know, quality wasn't good. <laughs> we all know what the quality was and what it is now, and there's totally a, a difference. Yeah, I, was, I was excited. I was expected to see a fight strap and a whole nine, and I've never been disappointed opening a jersey ever. Yeah. Did you do maybe, a video maybe on that? Maybe sign that I should retire. I don't know. <laughs> well, did you do a video on it? No, I didn't. Damn, bro. You should have made a video on that. That would have been, like, really informative for a lot of people. Well, yeah, yeah, like, I don't know. Just the haze on the lettering. No. Wasn't that the one that you got, too, Snacks, the Jose Cruz? And he had the same issue, right? Oh, yeah, the yeah. Jose Cruz. When I went, when I went to the Mitchell Ness store with uh, Neo, they, they had it, too, on, on, on the rack. Like, the same issues? It was yeah. only the cruise, right? Like the Nolan Ryan yeah, scene. The Nolan Ryan was nice and clean. It's weird. I, it, it must have been something with that. Yeah, I can show you. Run. It was weird. Oh, you still have it? <clears throat> yeah. It's just, the, but over time it got a little, it got a little better. But yeah, hmm. you probably can't even see it. Probably can't even see it. I think over time it got actually it got better. It used to be really yeah. bad. But yeah. that was years right ago. There. You can kind right? of see it right there. I see yeah, it. You can see a little. Yeah. Really noticeable, though. But yeah. <laughs> but before it was real noticeable, but yeah, yeah, you can see it. Never mind. Yeah. That's so crazy. Like It's one of those now you see me, now you don't type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, knowing, I mean, like, knowing that it's there, you know, being a Jersey head and stuff like knowing, like maybe you guys, you know, you, you probably have something that maybe nobody will notice. But you know, you know it's there. Yeah, yeah, it you, like you, big, you know, it's like really less small. It's just, it's just like a, if you bought a fake, you know it's fake. It doesn't yeah. like even right. though everybody I, else I, don't think so. You know, I haven't worn the cruise because I, I want you know it's Jose Cruz, Puerto Rican, and and uh, if that one's done the right way, but I don't wear it. So yeah. it's just part. It's like kind of collecting a bag. Yeah, I thought I thought you Ben got rid of that a long time ago. No. I mean, um, <clears throat> would you consider then snacks to get? I know they're, it's like a, it's a, a customized majestic, but there's a, there's a couple sellers on eBay that have some cruise jerseys that are majestic stitched, you know, and 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 such. Not not they. I mean, I think they have the tequila sun, but they also have the ones right. with the female stripes going down. I, I really love that jersey, man. The heat yeah. is really nice and stuff like that. But it's one of those things like. I'm to the point, like you know, I'll, I'll probably wear this summer. I like, I don't care. Probably wear it to yeah. the beach or something like yeah. that. 
Yeah, it's, a, guys, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful jersey. Um, just to highlight real quick, Matthew said, do you think the Fuse template will be available in the Elite jerseys? I don't know. I oh, mean, yeah, that, that was my next question. Are What are they going to do with the Elite Elite jerseys now? I think, they'll still that too? I think they'll still be around. But I don't know what they're going to do with the, like, the, if they're going to change the jock tag or the template. Yeah, please don't change it. Because if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> like, if they do that to the authentic, the Vapor Elites, then I think I'm done. I'm done buying it. I, I hope. I hope it's going to be at least a little better looking. <laughs> Sam, like, I thought the same thing. He's talking about because when I got I got, I got, got the jersey during summertime, and they, that's when they used to mail it in a black bag and the paper, yeah. and it was hot. So I thought oh, the so. paper got stuck to the to the, um, to the the numbers. Star. But when I went to the store and saw, like, yo, it's the same problem, but they, but they probably got the jersey with the paper and took it out and, and to hang it up. So I think I think that was, but it only happened to the Jose Cruz. It's just weird, like, yeah. I think they I cut a corner or something. They might have. Uh, Matthew says, also, are all the NFL teams going to use fuse template because the Pack Packers have been doing <coughs> doing the all mesh, and the Ravens have been doing the speed template for a while. As far as I know, that's they're doing that for all the stuff. Um, you know, and I, and I know like everybody like Niner fans are like, oh well, I'm it, it's good because Niners have single twill, and I'm like, well, now you're gonna have a jersey that's not even stitched, that doesn't even have wow. any numbers, and uh, that's not good. Anything like that, uh, you have to be very very delicate when caring for the garment because you can have things from peeling to uh, dot, you know, lose color. To just stuff falling apart on you. And the the, yeah. the one thing I hate about those is um, the folding. Once you get a fold, forget about it. Oh yeah, that's done. You're, you're done. There's no there's no taking out a fold. But my thing is like, if you're if you're against it, just don't buy it. You know, if you want one of those jerseys that are just comfortable, you know, to because sometimes those jerseys are like. I would just rock just to like at least I could watch the game, eat eat wings, and don't you know I don't have to think about oh my god, wait a hold up, hold up, like you know. Yeah, but yeah, but the, that price though. No, I understand. Price, though, if, I mean, if, that's if, that's if, where. Like I said, the, the people that complain most about the price are the ones that are never gonna buy them. So, so like people yeah. are gonna buy them no matter what. You know, it's, it's gonna happen. You're yeah, better you're getting the screen. It's about, it's about what Red things. said. It's about getting educated. At least, at least a platform like right. this, you get to know what you're getting yourself into. Like nobody that's... can tell you. Like, like pistol, you kind of missed out because if you would have been. Like we did pre plenty of uh, uh, mighty went into it. If you watch his videos and, and we, we talked about it too. We had like, it's more about, you know, we had, had put the information out there. So you know what you're getting yourself into. You end up like pistol, just open a bag. You don't know what, like, what the fuck is this? You know? Yeah. So I, I should have reached out to somebody first. Like, cause yeah. Albert, I was expecting a fight strap. I was expecting a heavy ass hockey Jersey. My Kings are in the playoffs. My first ever Mitchell and Ness hockey jersey I've ever purchased. I, I was happy. Oh my! And then, and then when I opened the bag, I'm like, it, it felt like I I got deflated. Well, you know that's it's very easy for that to happen, um, which is why I encourage a lot of us here who have our own channels to make a video and inform yeah. people. Uh, just yeah, as an example, I, I mean, I. I I would have made a video, but uh, the problem is I got to get a new phone. Uh, just the, I'm, my uh, memory and storage is not uh, keeping up anymore. So I got to get a new phone eventually. I got you. Uh, I posted the link. I know uh, I did a uh, um, couple vlogs. I did one at uh, Dick while well, I was at a local mall at Dick's Sporting Goods and also at Mitchell Ness, and I showed those hot, those blue line jerseys as best as I could. Um, and, uh, just so, you know, there's some awareness because I think it, I know when the news first came out, a lot of the big time hockey collectors were doing vids and you could, obviously they didn't have the product product in hand. So they were kind of just going based off the pictures. It's hard to do stuff based off pictures, stock photos and such. So when I saw them, I said, well, this is an opportunity to show some. And I can understand why people don't like them and where the, the, the problems are that, I'm kind of a little. I'm. I don't. I don't hate on them. 
there's only really one I want anyhow out of the whole set. So um, I'm not going to probably stock up on those. But um, I did have a quick question about the uh, the fuse jerseys. So these jer- these uh, these are replacing like the the, the, the basically the swingman version. Of yeah, the yeah. The, 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 the repla- they're replacing the limited. the limiteds. Um, yeah, they're replacing those. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's weird that they would kind of it. So so they raised the price. If I'm yeah, they raised correct, they raised like, the price, like, but they by made like it fifteen dollars or so. But like I said, with the taxes and the shipping, you're damn near paying two hundred bucks. That's that's yeah. the The sad thing about it is that people are going to gobble it up, like. You know, again, the latest and greatest, always thinking that it's, you know, oh, it's going to be top of the line. This is genuine. And people are going to use that as the standard for quality. And we all know, like, that's, that's the thing, like, like what you said, we we know we're, we're, we're the Jersey heads. But right. you're, you're like Joe up the, the street that's Joe. just like, like he loves the Eagles. and He just want to represent Hertz. He's not going to know better. You know, he's not going to be like looking at the quality control or anything like that for us. You know, we have these debates and we have these conversations because that's something that you know we love and we we know good shit versus bad shit. So like, yeah. it's, they're gonna make their money regardless. It's about people like <clears throat> us that we you know we know what we're getting ourselves into is to make to make that decision to spend our money, our hard working money. And so, like, let let me ask you guys this: I'm gonna throw a scenario out there, but let's say one of someone, a close friend or family member. Uh, you know, that you have bought one of these jerseys and they're trying to, and you overhear them trying to spit game to somebody like, yo, this is, this is the best quality ever. Don't worry about any of that old shit. Like, you know, like you feel compelled to like step in and be like, yo, like, let me fact check you real quick. Like, this is not, this is no, I I, I would say nothing because each has its own. Everybody likes what they like. Okay, even with all the knowledge and experience that you have, like with older shit, like good quality. That, that's like, that's one of those. That's one of those. Like you pick your battles, right? Like, in, in your scenario, in your scenario, I'll be like, I'll you know, I'm like yo, like the quality. You know, I'll you know, I would just compare like the quality has gone to shit though. I'm like compared to other shit. Like yo, you should watch these videos. I'll link your video, something like that, and some better. Yeah, this stuff that I have in my closet. I'm like yo, just you know. I don't know, man. This is one of those things. Is like maybe back, maybe my answer would be different ten years ago, but I just I don't care. Like somebody bragging yeah, about their jersey is like it's funny because every time I watch games and all you see in the stands is fake jerseys. Like, <laughs> like and, it's and so then, crazy. You're the one guy got a Mitchellness care package for wearing a fake. Yeah, jersey. for wearing a oh, fake. Right? Like, they, like all of us, all of us here has <laughs> promoted Mitchell and Ness so much throughout <laughs> so many years through all the downs and ups and the guy that gets rewarded was the guy that wore a fake Mitchell and Ness jersey and it's crazy and they, and you know, call, and they call, a, I never want anything from jersey, that brand uh, but a limited yeah. they called Re- they called Rez's jersey a swing man <laughs> it, it's, it's crazy how, 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 how things how things work the people that like ride and die for the brand mm-hmm. is no acknowledgement but the person that wears a fake jersey gets this shit uh, mailed out to them. I I, I think uh, just real quick to answer the question, Rez. Uh, I think the only way I would step in is if they tried to come like at me, like they're right, worrying. Right. You don't want to like, come at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're wearing like a like ago. a sweet man. <laughs> And not that I'm against them, but I'm wearing like an old school, you know, Peter Capolino era Mitchell Ness jersey. And they thought, oh, why are you wearing that? That's terrible. Look, look at this. Look at, this. <laughs> at that point, maybe say, look, you're you're entitled to your opinion, but that this is this is better. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you have some, if it's somebody close to you, you know, uh, that, like like I'm gonna use Albert. I'm gonna use your nephew as an example because I know you and Throwback here are really close. Uh, and I know, like you, I see your stories. Like I remember you posting that video uh, a while ago of uh, Bo Jackson talking to that little kid, and he was explaining to him, like, "Do you know who I am? Do you know what I did?" And this little kid, like, you know, was dressed up, like, ready to play ball, but like had no idea who Bo was. Like, that's kind of how I feel with like somebody, like, 
if one of my younger nephews try to spit game to me, like talking to me about jerseys, I'll be like, yo, let me fact check you real quick. Right. You, know, you know what's annoying? Right. You know what's annoying? Every time I get a jersey, my nephew be like, well, how you know it's real? I'm like, bro. Like, <laughs> it's not, when, somebody, when they question you, like, yo, how you know it's real? I'm like, how you know it's real? Are you serious? Are you serious? No. <sighs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel something. Like, I think it depends on who it is. Versus, because like, you know, like I want, I want what's best for like a lot of my friends and family. Like I want them to have everything. Like I want them to be like I want them to win and shit. Like if you're getting a jersey like that, like bro, like you're not winning. I'm sorry. Like you're getting bamboozled. <laughs> yeah. Like you're getting ripped off. Like I want people's money to go towards something that they're a hundred percent satisfied. Because with. like you like you said about thirty minutes ago, we all work hard for our money. Exactly. And I mean, I get it. You're gonna have people out there do, who don't care. They're just like, I just right. Get, get about about ninety percent of the population rocks fakes, as you as like snacks. As you watch a game, there's a lot of fake jerseys in the stands. Yeah, and especially yeah, I, like you know, like around Super Bowl time, everybody wants oh, to like man. get a jersey just for like the game, just for the party and whatever. Man, and you just see like, <laughs> but but like. I know all of us, we're not the type to be, like, calling somebody out. Yo, your shit's fake, whatever. But, like, what Mighty said, if they come at me, I'm like, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, it's, it's the one thing I always say, man, because it's stitched doesn't mean it's real. That's that's the big I was thing. getting ready to I'm say that. Stitched. I'm like, oh, it's, here we go. I, I think the best, though, if, is if one of Mac's relatives comes to him and Mac is wearing a rivalry jersey. And the relatives wearing some, you know, <clears throat> replica jersey, and tries to get on Mac about why he's wearing Mac. We be like, I made this. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> Did you make flex. your jersey? <laughs> that's the biggest flex you can have right there. I made my shit. That's like, yeah, because you basically reverse engineered that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta yeah, hit up can't. Mac later. Like, I gotta hit up Mac. Does Does anybody know if uh, Mac has Dazzle Twelve numbers for Raider jerseys? You'd have to um, ask him. You got. You got to uh, ask him. He's uh, in the okay. chat. He's in the yeah, chat. Yeah, you can, not, I mean, uh, you just pistol. You just asked the question. I'm sure he'll answer it. In the I, chat. I, I, I know. I know. You guys been around somebody having a conversation about. No, jerseys. because y'all. Oh, yeah, y'all I know this guy. That's why I yes, asked. All the jerseys, all the jerseys that you want for like twenty bucks, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'll give you his content. You oh, ever been around people yeah. like that? And you're like, oh hell no. I have heard it. It's it's hell embarrassing. Yeah. Uh. Robbie says, maybe yeah, I'm wrong, but the fuse term is Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Mac. And seven to ten teams will be wearing the new fuse template next season. Uh, Bay Area says, go to a game and you see more replicas, no matter how bad quality and fakes. Oh, so yeah. people don't shit. Uh, the decision is to no longer sell the replica jersey trim level is independent of fuse. I could be wrong, but that's my understanding. I'm disappointed with the new Astros batting practice jerseys. They're being sold. I can't find any film or picks on. I won a 44 LeBron James jersey for answering a trivia question. It didn't fit, obviously. No. What's up? <laughs> uh, it's similar, but instead of the Astros font, it had a broken star on it instead. Uh, it says, I just got this for my kid. It was like $30 from China. I found it on Amazon. Um, yeah, no, like it's, uh, I hear that a lot too. And um, I remember when I was in LA with my wife, um, I went to this really, really uh, high-end um, streetwear store. Like they sold like a lot of like, like high B shit. But they were selling stuff like the prices were just outrageous. I'm like, God, like who the hell is gonna spend this much money? And this family of like, I don't remember. I think it was like a family of four or five kids. They come in, and I think they're like European or something. And they were asking like, Oh, how much is this? And I had a guy on the counter who was like, Oh, six hundred dollars. This is like for like a regular hoodie. Oh like Jesus Christ! For a freaking bucks. Thank God. And she was like, "What sizes do you have?" And then he was like, "Oh, I have pretty much every size. What size you need?" And she was like saying the sizes. And he pulled them out, and he was like, "Oh, for these four, you know, they're going to be about twenty eight hundred, but I could give you a ten percent discount if you buy all four. And she was just like, "Yeah." And then she kept shopping. And adding more stuff to the pile, and I I had left by the time the I, I heard the final total, but that was like not an issue to her. 
Like, I don't care how much it costs. Well, Emma, Emma it gave you anxiety. <clears throat> I was just like, I, like my jaw dropped because it just goes to show that people don't care. Uh, sometimes money is not really an object. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not, we're not in that level, man. We we, we would right. Have of life. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Cause like our mentality is like obviously like fuck, who's gonna spend six hundred dollars for a fucking cotton hoodie? Like I know all of us in here are probably not gonna spend that money, but like to other people, yeah, it ain't a thing. But I do have a que- I do have a question. I'm sorry to cut you off, but that whole conversation about because I know Mighty always brings up um the authentic baseball jerseys, the authentic Nike, how they're like four hundred dollars, like that. And I always tell my, I always tell myself, I was like, okay, if you sacrifice two Mitchell and Ness jerseys, you can get that one authentic, like Nike jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, like, like you know. But the thing is, I can get two authentic Mitchell and Ness jerseys to this one Nike authentic. But like, if you really want it, you know. But you're thinking about just that one item for that. Well, much that's money. a that's a good that's a good strategy. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. If I, the way I look at it is like, well, that's like buying a Mitchell Ness and a Swingman. I, I've, I, I've, I just, I just do the pay and four and call it a day. <laughs> I just yeah. see the other day, not surprisingly. Oh shit! What, what up, P.O.P.? <clears throat> what up? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Man? What's hey, going on? Did you get your package? I did get the package. Thank you very much. Dope, dope. Uh, I wanted to hear what Mighty was going to say about it. Well, I, what I, what I was going to say is I, I I hear that. I guess my mindset is still I I, I see that 470, you know, and it's still even with a paying for option. It's still Yeah, yeah you're oh, still going to pay at least a hundo for, for one jersey, right? Of a current player or something. Now, I broke down. I bought when when the powder blue Trey Turner was available at the the Philly sto- uh, the clubhouse store. I got I get a little discount with the partial season plan, but uh, so I didn't pay as much as the ticket price was for it. But still, it's like I mean that that price is is just kind of to me it's like astronomical. Where okay, well I can just grab a few other you know maybe cheaper jerseys. Not that I say, okay, I'm just going to get the, the cheapest thing possible, but at least I can get a few other things, you know, that oh, way. Yeah, yeah. My, 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 my deal is always if I want something bad enough and you have to pay, I mean, I have to pay. That's just what you have to do. Yeah, that's what um, I did with my I'm, I'm uh, holding off. World Series jersey. I'm kind of uh, holding off for the hopefully that Philadelphia has a great City Connect jersey. That's what I'm kind of holding off on because I've been seeing lately was you know like with Baltimore like the simple I'm like what are you thinking like that's one real jersey I don't, jersey. I don't think I'm gonna the Baltimore leak it was horrible that's why yeah that's why I so I'm kind of I'm kind of holding off like if I was like what you said if I really want it if Philadelphia knocks the City Connect jersey out of the park definitely I'd rather have an authentic uh, Harper jersey because that only comes once a year you know what i'm saying so yeah. that's something i would drop well and plus the good thing with those is that um my hope is that um and i would rather I, i'm you know harper or whatever but you could maybe uh next season it, let's say they they put them out next season at the authentic stand uh or you can even sign up for their newsletter email and you can order through that you might be able to get like some reliever, you know, whoever Joe Schmo on the team, and maybe even send it out somewhere to get customized to a player of choice or whatever. That, that's, that's true. That, 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 that's a lot. That's the long run. I like, guess. if I can just drop the money for, I want Harper no matter yes. what. I want a player that's an MVP. Yeah, just want to grab the, I don't want like a guy that's on the come up that might get traded next year. At least I know Harper won an MVP for us. He's he's one of one of he's gonna be one of yeah, the yeah he's gonna be with Phillies. you for a while too. I'd rather have him than like Tur- I know Turner's great, but I don't know where Turner's gonna be in two years. Like he's honest, Harper be here for a while Harper. too, but no Har- Harper Harper would be the Harper's the- my go to because I know he's gonna be there and he's a great he's, he's already a great friend, Philadelphia yeah. he's already won an MVP so he's yeah. a great player he has his little history in Philadelphia so I'm good yeah. I don't want to get somebody like you know real Muto like he's great but I'm just like nah I'm good. Do you still have I just, your Harper's? I, I, I just want them to make those shoes that Harper wears more mainstream. I want some of those fanatic shoes, you know. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, got a girl or Harper shirt the other day. 
Speaking of shoes, I almost picked these up yesterday. Uh oh. Um, but I, I I had to I had to pull away, man, because I was like, I don't really it was almost you an to to, you had to talk to yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know those Spider Man uh Jordans that came out last week? The Miles Morales. Yeah, uh, it's sold out. I had I, I had the first ones. Uh, I think the first ones are bet they be- look better than this newer one. But. The only reason I would like him is he's half Puerto Rican, man. So yeah. <laughs> I gotta represent Miles. I almost I almost bought these. Oh my god! You, you should have pulled the trigger on those, definitely. Ninety yeah. nine. Raymond Wallace with the slam dunk. So, I, I mean, I'm like right now with the shoe stuff, like. I've been going for a lot of older like Jordan colorways and stuff, but like I don't really it's when it comes to other sneakers like that are not like Jordan or Dunks, like I, I try I'm very, very like particular because I never owned a pair of trainers and um they wouldn't let me try them on. I was like, bro, they're on sale. Like they they, they run they run small, bro. Yeah, you definitely go half the size up. Yeah, then I'll probably you have to Jackson's eleven and a half, but how many how many colors did he wear with the trainers? Was it just the one, or did he have? Well, the, the famous, the two famous colors. No, there's three famous colorways: the the Raiders colorway, the Auburn colorway, and the um kind of like the Kansas City blue, uh, Kansas City uh the Royals. Royals, but it's, it's white with the blue and a little bit of the black. That's like the main three. So so Everything this else is like is like they ran you know they they butchered that sneaker with a bunch of colorways. So this colorway right here is this That's like one of, that? Did he wear this one though? Like yeah, in the, in the Bo knows Bo knows commercial. I figured that was it. Yeah, I, I was like, damn, should I go back? Because it's like I went there on my lunch break the other day, and I um, I signed up to get the the Jordan Fours that are coming out this weekend, and um, I saw those, but. That's one of the things I hate doing, like going to the store looking for something specific or going there for one thing, and then you see something else, and then you end up walking out with That's it. The impulse, the impulse buy. It is. That's kind of where I was like, damn, I wasn't planning on doing that, but it's classic. A classic sneaker. It is. I need to get those. Well, not need, but I want to get those, and then the questions, like I want to get the red toe ones, but I can't. Oh, uh, the vintage ones. Uh, you don't the like those that came out? Yeah, that are purposely yellowed. Like, I'm good. No, no, no. They purposely yellowed the soul. Man. Like, <laughs> they keep doing, they keep doing that. Like yellow, huh? Yeah, they keep doing that. Like, what's old is new. Like, they did that with the Jordans. Like, they're doing that now. They actually. make them look beat up. Yeah. <laughs> they make them look... Yeah, I'm not a fan of those. Yeah. But, uh, POB, man, what's up, bro? Not much, man. I finally have a day off, surprisingly. So, I'm just glad to uh-huh. be able to jump in. On a live stream night like, too. Okay, I'm blessed. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, Two jobs uh, that takes a lot of time. On Wednesdays. So, it, I mean, like, what what do you do now? Like, if you don't mind me asking, is that like private or? All right. You know, no, no, it's cool, man. Just uh, I guess I still work at Pro Image over there in near my house, and uh, last month I picked up a job over at a buy sell trade place. Oh. And gosh. yeah, we both. Taking like a bunch of vintage shirts, we take it hats, we take it sneakers, and yeah, man, I've been enjoying it, man. It's really dope. And, uh, the owner who I work with is really cool, and it's been dope. That's cool, man. And you work like full time there, or are you part time? Uh, I'm part time both jobs, but um, no, I'm, oh, but my new job, my my new boss keeps telling me like, if I've improved, you no, know, he'll take me full time, you know, pay me more. So oh, I'm just hoping to do that. Oh, by the way, man, I love your last video. I think you should do more videos in your closet. Thanks, oh. man. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it is closet dope in crazy. the background of your Thank collection. You yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to do something different because I was because I always like to do my videos in various locations. And, yeah, yeah I thought the closet – I haven't done one in the closet, so, yeah, that was good. You do one yeah. in front of the Staples Center one day? I hope so. That – uh that's definitely up there i want to do one i want to do one in front of the culver city side which is my hometown and uh that, that's oh, yeah. definitely a dream of mine right there and uh yeah i want to do another video over on the stay at the stage again I, I really love doing the video there yeah that's what's up man yeah congrats yeah, bro. Uh, thanks so much uh bay area i appreciate that thank you bay area 
But yeah, man, like I said, man, just busy. I got a bunch of shit dropping soon, so it's going to be really good. And as far as sneaker pickups, I just recently picked up the Adidas Kobe's, uh, the black pair. And then I really love those ones. The nice. rookie one? Uh, not, I do have those, but not the rookie ones. It's the one that he wore uh, uh, against the Nets. It's a black with a little bit of purple and yellow on him. He wore those against in the finals against the Nets uh, during 3P. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, keep yeah, man, so. <clears throat> about your about uh, when you film. Do, is, is there any spe- thing specific you do about the music in the background? Like, uh, do you use a boom or anything to try to cover some of that stuff up? Obviously, with all the the copyright crap going around. Um. Yeah, because when I did that video in the store, I don't know if you saw that video. That that that's where I work now. So, and then. And then yeah, he was blasting music at that time, and it was really um, – I wasn't I was expecting the copyright claim, but, you know, uh, I couldn't do much about it. So yeah. I, I, just, I just I just wanted to get the video done in there. So, I, you know, that's, that's what mattered to me. The funny thing is I think they're kind of picky with that stuff because I, I got a copyright claim when I did the video from a local mall. When I went over to Mitchell and Ness mm. at the store this past weekend, last thing, I mean, you, you can hear – Jay Z over over me and and no no claims so it's I guess it's a hit or miss kind of thing. Well, here, here's the thing with that, uh, Neil. Um, copyright claims is not necessarily a flag. It's just say it's just the uh, you person who ever copyright it. claiming is saying, "Hey, that's my shit. I want I want some profit. Put ads on his fucking videos. That's all it is." No. So when you, get, yeah. when, you get a, when you get a song or copyright, like whatever whatever money that you get for that video goes to that to that person whatever right right exactly. don't get any money right. like i'm not it's not a it's not a strike it's not a strike towards you but if you like fully play the full song they'll they'll give you a strike like yeah you know, yeah it's yeah. not a violation it's just you know it's just you just have to give proper acknowledgement when the song is playing i think it, it sucks because like and the thing too mighty just to look out for if you do use let's say you go on a channel right and they're like oh my music is copyright free at that time, yeah, because yeah. I've had it happen where I used audio of someone at the time where their stuff was copyright free, yeah, and then shortly after, I get a copyright claim because the artist is no longer allowing it to be um, used without you know the written actual consent of it. Uh, so I that's why if you go on YouTube's audio library, that stuff is always going to be copyright free. Yeah, like the the artist whoever made it has to sign a form basically saying that this content can be used unlimited times without any restrictions whatsoever. See, see what I do, I chop it up. I chop, I don't let, like my background, I have Big Pun's beat as my background music, but I chopped it up so much that it's not a consistent beat. Yeah, yeah. So I chop, yeah, chop, he, chop, he, You chop. don't even give him a so chance you, to you don't get the full, you don't get the full beat, but everybody knows that's the Big Pun beat. So, yeah, this, yeah, this, this, it's hit or miss. It's hit yeah, or miss. I, I, I did see Bay Aries. No, I'm not monetizing. I, I did. Uh, I was uh, a couple weeks ago. I was over at Slim's in Maryland, and uh, we were watching a couple of my vids that were just done. I guess some weeks ago, and yeah, some commercials. Came. <laughs> I'm like, they're just, slip, they're just slipping them in because I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not monetizing. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I buy, buy you YouTube that. Premium. It's the best fucking thing on the planet. Yeah. No, I think, I think every video is getting ridiculous. You can, listen to, ridiculous you, you with can, the, you with can the listen to YouTube while while you turn your phone off, while you're at work or something. Yeah, while the, I'm at the, work, I'll sometimes. I remember the, the commercials just, just the, the commercials just be in the beginning. That's it. Now it's like you yeah. can't watch a full video. Yeah, like, yeah, like every know. every couple of minutes. Middle of it. Come on. Now I remember. Uh, I remember a few years ago, I did try a free trial of the um, of the uh, the premium, and every time I would make a video, it would slip commercials in there at that time. And then when I stopped the trial, it didn't do commercials anymore. So I thought, well, is that because I was with the premium or whatever? But now it does it all the time, and there's really nothing, you know, there's nothing I can. I mean, I'm not saying, yeah, put a Put a Ford commercial in the middle of me in the in the in on, on the road getting angry at people. But the thing is, like I, once again, we're like we're we're using their platform so they can <laughs> do whatever the hell they, they want. Whatever they want. Exactly. Yeah. We're at the mercy of, of whatever they want to do. 
Fifteen ninety nine a month, fellas. No. Oh, so you're you're paying for YouTube Premium? Like that? Basically, what is everything is ad free or? Hell yeah, it's ad free. You could listen to music for free. Fucking, mm. uh, you could uh, listen to your uh, these streams with your phone off, so it doesn't kill your phone. It's great. It's the best. Thing he says great. Been. It is the no. Just listen to me. It's the best thing I've spent money on in my life. What wow. was the last thing uh, you really? said? Pistol stream with your phone off. What's that? No. So so. So you know how uh, when you guys watch YouTube and uh, your phone has to be on, Skip the video. You, you could click a click yeah. the screen off, and uh, it like say you're listening to a live. Like for me, I work at night, mm -hmm. um, but I'm able to listen to my headphones. So I listen to y'all stream while I'm at work and get a good laugh. By the way, but well, so it's yeah, still YouTube plays. premium. It doesn't kill. It doesn't kill the phone. It doesn't uh. drain your battery. So, so it still plays without the picture on there because you see yes, you turn yes, it, you turn it yeah. off. It still yeah, plays. It, it still plays. Interesting. Like, wow. like your your screen could be black, and the video is still playing. Got it. So that's what yeah. won me over. How much is it a month, Pistol? Fifteen ninety nine. I don't. Oh, like, I do want to. I do want to see. They're going to do an NFL Sunday ticket on YouTube TV. I was thinking about picking that up. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Yeah, the There's NFL a lot. is really yo the, edit, I, the topic of discussion. A uh, little change here, but the NFL is really grabbing the coin. Always. <laughs> uh, they, they, they're doing it more than ever, Neil. I mean, look at the shit product they just released for fifteen extra dollars. <laughs> now, but I, I I've heard that this year for the Thursday night games, they're going to be able to flex. As the season rolls on, which is going to be kind of, but teams will be given like a week or so, like a no notice enough where a couple weeks maybe, so they'll be for the scheduling uh, reasons. Oh, you they're should, doing a you Black should, Friday should, game should this year, Christmas again. The Eagles are on Christmas against the Giants this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so the, I mean, we're hey, they're, we're we're going to get to a point. I'm telling you, we're going to get to a point where every day of the week there's going to be at least. One football game on every day of the week. They're going. They're going to roll this thing. <laughs> uh, Max says I just made seventy five dollars. Sold some Marvel cards on EPAC that I didn't have any attachment to. Sweet. Uh, that's another thing too that I wanted to talk about. And I don't. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys follow like the Marvel universe, but I. Um, I recently just saw the new Guardians of the Galaxy three. And I don't want to spoil anything for anybody if unless you guys have seen it already. But um, all I can tell you is that if you are an animal lover, uh, <laughs> this movie will be difficult for you to watch. Uh, because that They'll go after be, foxes, do they? That might be a problem. Um, I don't think so. But <laughs> there was a lot of animals in that movie. <laughs> and... Um, I, I know everything was obviously CGI. I'm sure there were no anim like real animals. You know, they always farm. put the little disclaimer at that. Uh, um, of course, they. Of course, because no you animals don't were no in, animals in, in, were harmed during the filming of the session or whatever. But, um, I, I I give the movie honestly. I give the movie ten out of ten. Um, really, I thought it was a good way. So for those of you who don't know, this is the final Guardians installment. Mm -hmm. It's a trilogy. Um, James Gunn directed the movie, and he's pretty much done with the franchise for Mar uh, Guardians. So Unless somebody uh, else wants to pick it up. He's going to DC, right, James Gunn? Yeah, James Gunn's going to be working on. Well, he did. I think he directed the Flash, right? Was that him? That bro, uh, I'm 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 fucking so. stoked for that movie, no? The Flash. Uh, because my my homeboy's in it, Michael Keaton. Oh yeah, I geeked out to that a little bit. But it's it's really sad because like Guardians obviously like it focuses a lot like not to give away too much but it basically focuses on Rocket Raccoon, you know, mm. little Raccoon with Groot. It focuses on his backstory and it kind of goes into more depth about like who he is and and what happened to him. Uh, oh, that's right, he is writing a new Superman movie. Does, does gotcha. it show? Does it show how he met Groot and all that shit? It doesn't go into that part, but it does go more into detail of his origins and, uh, you know, exactly where he came from and stuff like that. And also, like, 
there's just a lot of different like there's a lot of emotional scenes um in the film and i think uh if you are going to watch the film i think you should watch them kleenex yeah and watch the other two first because there's some parts in the movie where you're not really going to understand unless you have seen the previous two. Oh yeah um, yeah but yeah I, I i think the movie is really good i think it was very uh fitting on the way it ended and i know a lot of the actors too have kind of said like you know it's time you know this is a perfect way to end it i know dave bautista who plays drax and um i can't remember her name zoe saldana who plays uh gamora also said like this is my last time i'm gonna be you know in the makeup and in the suit and stuff like that so uh, it's really good. I think uh, Max saw it too. Um, said Rock is my favorite MCU character, I think. And uh, says you should probably watch Endgame as well if you're unfamiliar. Yep, that's another thing too. So See, I watch all superhero movies because I like superhero movies. Um, but before I watched the original Guardians, I knew nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't either. Whole world, you know? <laughs> I, didn't I enjoyed even... the movie, and yeah. I watched the second one. Obviously, I haven't seen the third one yet. I, I still have to watch the latest Ant Man movie, but that's on the list to do. I think the um, second one catered to Baby Groot more. Yeah, I mean, some of them, some of them to me are kind of hit or miss. Uh, but I enjoy them. I enjoy them for what they are. You know, um, you just have to kind of discon- disconnect yourself from certain things and just. Watch it for what it is. I mean, I'm a Hulk fan, so when the Hulk was in the stuff, I was happy. Um, but um, I, 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 I don't know. Um, I, I, I will watch uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three. Um, I'm kind of more intrigued now just by what you said, Rez, and and just that whole kind of deal. It's kind of all right. Well, oh boy, okay, maybe maybe I might see this a little sooner than I thought I would. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, Good I sell. Really think for the most part, Marvel's done a really nice job with their movies. I know that we there's always like hit or misses with the DC movies. Some of them I've really liked, and 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 the one thing I will say about the about that it, for the uh, um, goodness, why am I blanking on it? The uh, the, the 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 Justice League movie, mm-hmm. right? I saw the original in the theater. And then I saw it again a few times since. When I saw the Donner cut, oh my goodness. The I'm Snyder like, cut, you mean? Snyder cut, I'm sorry, Snyder cut. I said, oh, this, Superman this, is, too. this is how it should have been all along. When it's you really see good. that version of it, don't watch the other, don't watch the regular theatrical. The Snyder cut is the one you want to see. <laughs> yeah, it's, I heard Very great long, things. but worth it. And people were um, really flagging uh, the DC uh, Warner Brothers and stuff because they were saying that, like, the reason why they released that version that we all saw, the first one, was because they had deadlines and they just needed to put something out. And, I mean, you can't rush, no. you know, perfection. It's like, you no, just can't. You, you can't. And it sucks. It sucks that they do that because it really ruins uh, a lot of franchises. Because, um, like, with DC, like, I feel like they're all over the place. You know, you have your, you have yeah. actors backing out of, of roles. You have uh, directors not directing anymore. You have new reboots. You have like there's just too many different variables. And I honestly think the Flash film is a great way to kind of bring and reel back the audience because obviously the Flash and Flashpoint, like going back in time and changing and fixing things, like is the Flash's mo. And I think this is the opportunity for you know, the DC universe to bring back a lot of those fans, but you know, they don't seem to have that same formula like Marvel does. And that's okay. You know, because it's like you have something different, use that and use it to your advantage. And I'd rather it be different, to be honest. I'd rather it be different. I don't want Blue Beetle Beetle looks really good. I don't know if you've seen the trailer. Blue Beetle Beetle looks really, really good. Uh, I can't wait to see that. Which one? Blue, Blue Beetle. Beetle. So it's you remember uh the actor who played Miguel in Cobra Kai? Yeah, yes. he's Blue he's Beetle. Basically the Blue Beetle. Oh, Blue Beetle. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And George Lopez is in it, which is, looks awesome. I want to see that too. I think I did. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Oh, spe- spe- speaking of George Lopez, uh, George Lopez uh, recently got uh, caught rocking a fake in his new show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that's that, not, that, that was disappointing to see. That, that's I mean, that wardrobe. That's not so him. Does, that's so, does, uh, so does Jerry Rice. Rocks a fake uh, Jerry Rice. <laughs> Well, in in the movie Four Brothers, there's fakes in that one. That the one guy at the bowling alley wearing the fake Eric Dickerson Colts. Oh, that's oh, fake. Really? I, I, really? With uh, oh, yeah. Mark Wahlberg oh, yeah. and oh man, I got to really fake his day. I remember that. Man, oh that yeah, bad. Mark Wahlberg was wearing a Deion Sanders jersey. Yeah, but- now, it, it wasn't Mitchell Ness. Uh, but I, I don't know if it was one of those, like, you know, how they made the, the gridiron collection back in the, you know, the Reebok or whoever made, they did the, it almost looked like one of those, but he had a jacket over. It was a Falcons Dion Jersey. And I couldn't really make that one out mm-hmm. as well, but one of the actors, I guess they, they go up to them in the bowling alley. He's there with his family and he's, you know, doing whatever. And he's wearing the blue Eric Dicker, and you can even see like a Mitchell Ness tagging on it, but I mean, it's it, it's fake as all get out. <laughs> I gotta check that out. Oh yeah, that's- see, Jersey heads remember jerseys in movies. Oh, oh, of course, that's the first. Yeah. That's the first. That's the first thing we look at. <laughs> Fucking, uh, but but Neil, um, the thing is, George back in the day rocked real Mitchell and Ness, real jerseys in his right. old show. In the but early the problem 2000s. is, it's not the actors doing it; it's wardrobe. So whoever had him had that outfit for him on the show got a fake jersey and said, "Here, as, as rich outfit. as they are, they couldn't find a real Ferdinand." I mean, come They're on, not jersey <laughs> hats. <laughs> they don't think of these things. Yeah, well, even George is probably like, "What the fuck?" Because George has <laughs> real shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They tell him but, that's but, what. He's uh, but somebody he's was weird. saying, somebody was saying, I guess uh, it fits his character in the show. Because he's kind of cheap in the show. So I guess it fits his character. I don't know. Somebody said that. <laughs> yeah. Best jersey in a movie is the potential Jordan Gamer in the first scene of White Man Catch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that was beautiful, that jersey. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's I a great subject. Like, jerseys, but, jerseys and movies. Yeah. Great subject. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. <sighs> because the, the GOAT has got to be, are we, are, we, what is it, are we there yet? Oh god! Oh man! That's, Jer- that's Jersey. That's, that's Jersey. Oh right god! There. Ice Cube. Yeah. That's a Jersey head. Wasn't that the movie where he like spilled the stuff no, on that his? Was the sec- yeah, that, that was that's the one I saw it He spilled that's it on the, the second United. one. The Johnny Unitas. How many of y'all screamed? At yeah, that it was the Unitas Yeah, it was. It wasn't the one screamed at that part. Oh. There's this. There's this movie that um the actor that played uh the Black Captain America was his name, whatever his name is. Um, the one that became Captain America, the black guy. Anthony Mackie? Yeah, he had a yeah. movie back in the Falcon. early 2000s that you know, it was based off in Seattle. And the whole movie, he was wearing Everfield flannels. Every scene, he had a different seal, Seattle Seals jersey. Wow. And I was oh, like, wow. yo, this is this not us. He had different Seals jerseys, different Everfields. Like, Almost every scene, I'm like, yo, this is like, I'm like watching, like, I, 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 the movie wasn't good, but the jerseys were incredible. I gotta figure out the movie. I gotta, I gotta look it up real quick. You guys gotta was check it, it out um, because it's great for wait, jersey guys. What was wait, his name? Was again? that like a? Was that Anthony like a? Was that a movie? I, I remember there was a movie based in Seattle in the early '90s, and it was in the height of the grunge era. So there was actually a scene where they went to a club and Allison Chains was in there playing. Um, nice. I, forget the, I forget the name of the movie. It was like almost like a romantic comedy. Is that the same movie? No, nah, this is more like a gangster oh. like, hood movie. But I'm, I'm trying to look for it now. So I, I recommend it. If you're a Jersey head, you see nine by Abbott Field Flannels. It's so fire. Oh, yeah. Gave me a little post. I'd have, I'll have to check that movie out, to be honest. If you remember the name. Right. I'm not sure it and up, in fact, that same actor was in Pain and Suffer Suffer City. City. Seattle, I'm sorry. Sucker Free City. That actor was in was also in the movie Pain and Game with Mark Wahlberg. That's movie. And there's a scene in there where he's in the he's in the the one of the, the doctor's offices wearing a Dan Marino. I think it's a replica because the movie takes place in I think the 90s. But he's wearing a Dan Marino Dolphins jersey. 
Yeah, okay, it. it's called Sucker Free City. Yeah, that's what Sucker it's Free City. Sucker, Sucker Free. Free City. Sucker Free City. It's okay. based off in. It's based off in. Uh, in San Francisco, not Seattle. I'm sorry. Okay. So he has all the San Francisco Seals. Everything that has to do with San Francisco Seals has every version of that jersey. Yeah, there you go. Somebody just said it. Sucker Free yeah. City. It's, it's, it's free. Yeah, he, he yeah. It's, it's free on YouTube, by the way. And you said he was rocking Ebbets jerseys in there, like the San Francisco all, Seals. All Ebbets feels authentic. Like, like, I gotta see this now. See and by this, the way, it's 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 free on YouTube. It's called Sucker Suck Free City. Okay. And uh, Yo, it, it, the whole movie's on YouTube. Kind of, this is kind of random, but like interesting fact. But you know, Anthony Mackie was Papa Doc in Eight Mile. <laughs> yeah, it's still wild. No, no, he wasn't Papa Doc. His name was Clarence. Let's get real. His, his name was Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> and his parents have a real good marriage. <laughs> Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll shut up. Yo, spe- yo, speaking of Eminem, uh, speaking of Eminem, have y'all y'all remember that movie, The Wash? Eminem was a whack job in that movie. He was crazy. The Wash. <laughs> San Quentin is in that movie. I never seen that movie, so damn, that's crazy though. I gotta check it out now. It's actually an okay movie. It's not that bad. Spike Lee made that movie. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. Anthony Mackie also. Yep, Papa Doc from A Mile, aka Clarence, and Clarence has both. <laughs> Yeah, you read the whole line. Well, I don't know why I find that shit hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing at my own jokes. Okay, um, <laughs> <Rez. cool. laughs> the whole movie is shot in Hunter's Point. Damn, yeah, Hunter. So, for those of you who don't know, Hunter's Point, if you're ever in San Francisco and you go there, make sure you hold on to your wallet, hold on to all your valuables because that area is bad. Like, Yo, like San Francisco is nice for the most part, but that's one of the few areas where you don't want to go to. It's really bad out there. Is that um, like your guys' Compton? Yeah, I mean for for San uh, San Francisco, yeah, like that area. Yo, yo, just, Albert, was the movie made in uh, 04? Yeah, it's pretty old. Yeah, it looks it looks like it came out a while ago. Yeah, definitely. I, I recommend that, it. Just, it's a good movie, but it, as a Jersey head, like you start spotting the Seattle, yeah, it makes you it makes you want to get a Seattle uh, Seals. I mean, a San Francisco Seals jersey. Uh, Not me, I'm an LA guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he called John Morant Clarence after his PR fiasco. That was so stupid, a job, man. Can't believe he did that, bro. But yeah, you live and you learn, man. Uh all right. Do you guys have anything you would like to add in this conversation this evening? Otherwise, I think I'm going to start wrapping things up. This was a great session. That's it. And, uh, <laughs> no, no. This was a great session. Uh, I don't want to see here's, here's, We talked about thing, jerseys uh, and a variety of things I, outside of jerseys, like movies, Marvel. I love it. I have lives with like I try to come up with topics to discuss pre topics, but I if there's nothing else to talk about, I don't want to drag the live. Like I I do these lives and mainly for everyone, the community on YouTube and the chat, whoever's live with me. So like if there's like really nothing to discuss, you know, that there's no reason for me to keep the live going. Your boy but, Curry just hit a three before the half. I'm looking at it right now. Because uh, I'm seeing the the real time score. Yeah, the Lakers gonna lose tonight. They're gonna be we'll an epic uh, series comeback, Rez. What do you think? We gonna end it on Friday, think, Mighty. Stop I it. I think we're done. I think we're done. At, if if they get out of this, I think it's gonna be Game Six, Lakers. But hey, who who am I? You know, I don't work for the Warriors. The, the, I can't. The, the, the shit is rigged, man. They're already selling tickets for Game Six. Come on. Oh look. Oh, <laughs> I mean. Think about it. <laughs> Look look at this narrative too, right? Like if the Lakers somehow because you know, like I don't know if you guys watch like Sports Center, but they talk about uh you know or they talk about um Anthony Davis AD's decline, like one game he's like on fire, the next game he's like tanks. The next game he's on fire, the next game he yeah, tanks. They, they so, do yeah, that a lot. That's though. a lot they of people, do that all bro. the time. It's they they need something. They they need to that's what the talking heads do. They they come up with these narratives and you know, I, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of that stuff. I, I just try to watch the game, but it, it uh, 
There's, I mean, there's like rumors floating around. Like, I don't know if you guys heard, but like they're talking about like this is probably the last year you're gonna see our big three together uh, after this they season. <laughs> so, so, so no more Draymond Wallace. They're they're saying that he might end up with you guys if he if they let him go. Well, he better not. Hell, I don't anybody. want him. What up? What's up? Oh, Bay Area. Oh, so, bro, you're good. He's running down the steps. <laughs> he said now what? He's turning on a light. I'm surprised he's not cooking. He's not wearing nah, a I hat. I got done eating. What's up, bro? Yeah, you, you got any? Uh, you want to add to the the conversation? No, I just heard a lot of uh, talk about Sucker Peak City, so I hop in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you got excited. Like, you're talking about my city. You've seen that movie, Sucker Free City? I've seen it a bunch of times. It's uh, Spike Lee made it, but I mean, it's like a street movie, but he didn't really represent the city correct. Like, a lot of people in the Bay weren't too happy about it, but I mean, it's still cool oh, just to see all the spots it. in the city. Yeah, that's yeah, probably I'm, de- I'm definitely going to watch it. Yo, but what, how would you how would you compare Hunter's Point? Because like I was saying, yo, that area is dangerous, bro. Like, I mean, it's it's like very gentrified now. It's not. I mean, I've always had people that I've known who've lived there, so I've spent a lot of time there throughout the time. I wouldn't just go there randomly for no reason, but I've always known people there. But I mean, back in the day, it was one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in California, even more than next, certain spots in LA. Next so. to East Palo Alto, East Palo Alto used to be really bad. Yeah, East Palo Alto was the, was the murder capital of the country at one point, but. Very Ashley, bro. That's next to IKEA. Yeah, <laughs> now it's it's different because now they have uh, what is it, Apple or whoever's over there now? But yeah, I know the bay. The bay has changed so much now. Big time. I, who do you, who I do you... actually have a, a a quick question for you all. So you you heard uh, Mitchell Ness got back into the uh, MLB hat game, right? So they put out some snapbacks, and I hear that they're probably going to start fitteds by july uh did you guys get like look at them at all on the side uh, any like early impressions or it's i'm waiting that, for like, an 88 world else. series hat for the Dodgers. <laughs> so I, I have a i have a quick question because i i saw mighty your video are they are they all going to be kind of like i don't know how you say it like are th- they're not they're not going to be actual like supposed to be like Authentic oh, yeah. replicas of the hats from the time, right? No, because I, I, I don't think they can make those because New Era probably has the rights to do like Cooperstown collection and that type of stuff. So I don't know if Mitchell and Ness would I would never say now. Nah, who knows? Maybe they will. Uh, but I, for, for at least for now, they're just making different like style hats with the logo in the front, something on the side or just something on the front. They had a few styles that weren't in the store uh, that are on their site. Uh, the one I kind of liked I, was the Seattle one, but on on the site. But um, but I don't know how much they're going to do like on field looking hats, like the vintage stuff that Cooperstown Cause, looking cause stuff. It's just was with uh, had that collab with Forty Seven, and they made one of the original like twelve teams or whatever it was. Yeah. I mean, oh, it, and I can never say never. Expensive. I mean, years ago, obviously now Ebbets Field does all the, the wool flannel hats, but Mitchell Ness made a set of the wool flannel, you know, hats, which were really nice back then. Um, but I can't remember any others that they did specifically the look like it was on field. I, maybe they did. I, actually, they did do a set. I have a few um, years ago, but, um, you know, so maybe they do again. Uh, you know, we'll see, but I think this is kind of what they're throwing out now because the styles and stuff they're putting out are like real people are buying them and stuff on other, yeah, you know, with other brands. So this is what they're going to open up with. But, uh, my only problem with see where they go, I just feel like I'd I'd rather have the on field, I'd rather we just go with new era because I know what I'm getting, and plus, you know. I well, think I'm here. I'm here. Mitch Van Ness uh, loves to rebrand themselves. That Mitch Van Ness logo, like, it's too much. Yeah, yeah. The I'm, the brim I'm is a little boxy, but dude, yeah, I can't I'm do it because the brim and the might fit. be done with baseball hats. Is that true? Well, I'm hearing New Era might be done with baseball hats. And oh, no, that's hats. their that's their money money 
hot. I don't know if they would be done with that. No, <laughs> like, no, oh, that's not. No, like I don't know if you're in a hat group, Neil, but I'm sure yeah. you are. Somebody posted a picture of a Fanatics hat in a, in a baseball, which, by the way, the oh, Fanatics no, hats no. are terrible. Well, uh, Fanatics makes Fanatics makes all kinds of products. So New Era, yeah. they they own the MLB though. So yeah, I I can't imagine that they would not make the on field hats. I, I they mean, might as well just shut down the business if they do that. Yeah, that's their big. I mean, that's <laughs> that's their big. My, so. Oh, did he cut out or is it just me? No, we hear you. Oh, good. Cut out. Um, mm -hmm. do you guys uh have any new pickups? Uh, I some like stuff. I said, I just sent mine back. <laughs> I'll, uh, <laughs> I have a I have a new pickup that I'm gonna share right now but it's not anything um oh that's dope oh you got, you got it yeah you got it did you say they got yeah. that right yeah like thank god like for the group man shout out yeah. to the throwbacks man they dropped some knowledge on me i'm like yeah. all right cool. so i pulled wow. the trigger because it was correct. i'm glad you know what i'm glad you posted that, that one I, was, time, man. I started second guessing mine too i was like man i don't want to own a jersey if like griffey didn't wear it <laughs> yeah, I would never. I got, I got this from. Uh, I did a trade. Is that the Raleigh? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh yeah. I, I did a trade with the uh, same. Derek. I got the same one. I'm Yo, like, Albert, if if you ever sell that, hit me up. I met Raleigh yeah. Fingers. Yeah, my my Ace collection's officially over. Uh oh. What do you mean? They're still in Oakland, bro. Oh, I'm never I mean, ever. No, I'm still gonna keep my stuff, but I'm just saying, like, I'm not buying anything from them anymore. Once they leave, I'm strictly buying. They're still, they're still here. They're still here for like. No, a I'm, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna support. I still go. To, I've been going to more A's games and Giants games lately. But what I'm saying is, I'm not gonna buy any more A stuff. They're about to be. What, gone. If, what if they have like a like a final hoorah, like you know, their last season here, and then they release like a like a jersey or something, or like. You'd be like, oh man, I gotta get that shit, or you just no, not. I'm good. I mean, they're they're not because I'm not. Well, like I said, I'm I'm gonna. Root for them, even though there's no point because they're trash until they leave. But I'm gonna, but once they leave, I'm all giants from that. They're my second team, so it's like I'm just thinking of my giants once they leave. But I'm not gonna I mean, buy any more Ace stuff. We're both in different leagues, so I, I mean, yeah, I for sure. But it's I don't care about Vegas. I like my teams because where they're from. I don't I don't care about Vegas. <laughs> do you own a uh, a Vita Blue jersey? There, I do. I do not, but I do have. I don't know if you can see. I do have a Vita Blue autograph. I yeah, I, but I don't have. Ago. I don't have a Vita Blue jersey though. I got years ago off eBay a set of uh, um, uh, 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 giveaway, you know, jerseys from the A's, you know, that they would give away at the fans that came in for the games. Yeah. And I think they did like a set of them throughout a season. And one of them was a yellow throwback pullover Vita Blue jersey, which was really cool because it, it had his, his first name, Vita, which they wore for a time on, on, on the back in 14. But it had like an ad sponsor on the sleeve, but it was still a very cool jersey. Yep. Part of his is my new pickup. Oh. Oh. Uh, is that the WrestleMania hat? Oh, that's wrestling. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. I'm going to do did a video get, on did you get the Did you get the shirt to go along with it? Did I? Come on, bro. You know, you know oh, my Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, you already know my guy Sam, bro. Oh, did, have no, you guys? I don't mean to change it. Like, did you guys see the the Netflix show um about the gold gold collectibles? What about the auction? Oh, golden! My girl has me watching. That's the dope. The, the bro, if you're a Jersey the head, episode, man, really fire. They have a lot of game worn stuff. Is so dope. What's the name of it? Gold. Uh, was it? Gold or something? Hold on, gold, hey, golden Juliana. collectibles. Julia, hold up. Let me. No, I, I just it reminded me because uh, um, Kings of Collectibles, the Golden Touch. Oh my! So okay. they show they show like game worn, like the whole Dream Team game worn jerseys. They show the oh. Dr. J's uh, All Star game worn jersey. Like this guy that has every freaking game worn jersey ever is unbelievable. Now is really. It is it just about coll collectors showing their stuff? It's about the auction, the golden auctions, uh, heritage, and they, how he gets 
people to to convince them to to auction off with them. So my the first episode is the actually game worn Jackie Robinson jersey. Oh, from and, my uh, it was and, uh, unbelievable. Snacks. The cool thing about that is that that was the um, I have the Willie Mays. Mitchell and Ness from that year because has the the patch. Um, yeah, the little, little baseball glove. Mm -hmm. And when it shows the Jackie jersey, you could see how well Mitchell and Ness did that jersey back then because it it, yeah. it looks almost at least on from screen. It looks really good. Yeah, is like the same. Mess around back in the day. Yeah, because yeah, Val Valvery, uh Mac because he said Messi and they had an actual Messi game worn jersey yeah. for like well four hundred fifty thousand dollars something like that. Yeah, the big that soccer soccer collector guy. Yeah. Where where is that on to watch it on Netflix? Netflix. I re I re recommend it, man. It, it's uh, and they have like right. game worn sneakers and stuff like that. And, well, and the guy, out. this guy, this basically he's a billionaire that lives in Puerto Rico, has basically every freaking thing you can think of as far as game worn. He has a he has a game worn you know he has the uniform from Will Ch Will Chamberlain's uh, Kansas Kansas High uh, College jersey. Oh my goodness! He has Jordan's uh, first. His rookie jersey, his first red jersey that he wore. The one that says Chicago. That in hand. Huh? The one that says Chicago. Chicago. The yeah. one the script in Chicago is the first time he wore the red jersey. He oh has that God. jersey. And he has, like, obviously he has the game-worn jersey from Juliet, uh, Dr. J from the All-Star game. Like, that's a one-of-one. One. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's so good. It's really, really good. I recommend it, man. It just focuses on one guy, or is it? No, like no, it's just it's, the it's, company it's Golden. It's, it's Golden Auctions. Oh. What they do is they travel around and try to have have people sell their collectibles through them, through Heritage. You know what I'm saying? They don't buy the collectibles. They they take the collectibles to have it auctioned off through their company. But it no, but it isn't it, the auctions called Golden, right? G O L D Golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden. Yeah. Um, and and now that they're not only doing sports too, they have a couple like other. Most of it's sports. Like they cards, too. like sports. They have that the cards. LeBron one, the one with they're the doing logo um, the three logo man that went for how much? Went for two million? Some crazy thing, yeah. Went for two million dollars. Yeah, the, the three logo man, yeah. Crazy. Dude, Drake Drake was on one of the episodes because he wanted to buy, I think, that card or something like. That. Yeah, he was trying to look for the card. Oh, I got another. Trying to look for it. I got another pickup too that I didn't show last week. Hold up. There's actually a show that I record on DVR. It comes on every Sunday on Me TV. It's called a Collector's Call, mm -hmm. and they showcase a collector each episode. It's uh, um, I forget the name of the hostess. She was in um, uh, Facts yeah, of well, Life. Fa yeah, yeah. I know what you're um, talking. About. So, uh, but the 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 idea is so the person will show their and they'll show different items and they get appraised and how this is how much this I your collection is worth you know. A million dollars, you know, whatever, right? But the deal is at the end of the show, they have, like, it's the collector, but there's also another collector there, too. It might be the appraiser yeah, or their yeah. friends or whoever. And they'll try they try to orchestrate a trade. One of their items for one of the other person's items that they've been looking for. And the question is, are they going to do it or not? So I'm always, like, in the back of my mind, like, would I want to be on a show like that? Huh. I have to <laughs> try to... You don't have to do the trade. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I see. I seen the GI Joe episode. It was really I, good. I seen the GI Joe episode. I'm like, I, I, I'm like, I can see me on there and Slim's there, and he's trying to get something. He's offering me a, something. And we're both like, I don't know if I can get rid of that. <laughs> we love it. There's a, um, there's a fun. They have a segment like that on WWE where yeah. they buy. Um, they'll go to like a uh, wrestler. Um, and then they'll they'll ask them like for like they're looking for something that they oh, used yeah, to wear. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Like uh, I saw Lost Treasures, right? Lost Treasures. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lost yeah, Treasures. Yeah. Oh, so. Rick Flair. Rick Flair is in that show too, the auction show. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I remember. That. So, yeah, yeah they, they wanted he wanted to, they wanted to come because they had like an his, his one of his robes and they wanted oh. him to authenticate it for them. So it's yeah. pretty dope. Yeah, I saw I saw the one where they did Kane's mask where they were looking for the original. Uh, mask that he wore, or not like not the original, but it was like one of the masks that he wore when he, I think it was like a Hell in the Cell match. And, yeah, when he uh, debuted. He one, but it wasn't the it wasn't the one that he wore at that event. But I they, they bought it. Did, did, what didn't they find? Like there, somebody was trying to find the authentic ring, like the whole ring. They found a ring. The, 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 oh, like, I didn't see that. Yet. 
I, I seen that. Like they were trying to find the. It was like in a warehouse, abandoned. Yeah. But it was like a, a ring that's uh, one of the wrestlers really wanted from an original match that Hulk Hogan was in or something like that. And it was just all dusted up in a in a warehouse. That's and they crazy. found it. It's, it's a dope, dope show. I, I know what yeah. you're talking about. It's really I cool. love like I love shows like that because it's like you you get to relive like the nostalgia and then also just to like see like who would want to buy that and then you see like what it's going for and things that you didn't even think still existed you're like i wonder who has that or i wonder if like if, yeah well, what i learned is like is like there's what i learned from the show from that show whatever the the golden auctions like there's people that with money with serious money that are not on social media that are not that are not flexing what they have they just want they, they their house. They probably have a, a a whole thing in their house of like the rarest items, but you will never know they have it. But they know they have it. But they're not social media. They're not taking pictures. Yeah, they're not taking selfies. It's like this is a whole world of millionaires and billionaires that we don't know about that are yeah. just buying all this stuff. Like the people that it's buy cool. like game used Jordan sneakers that go for two million dollars. Like who are these people? You never see an interview with these people. You never see them holding a sneaker or anything. It's just yeah. these people that are, we, we will never know who it is. Like you see all these, all like who bought that LeBron rookie, like one of one for $2 million. Like it was crazy. It's or crazy. who bought, who bought that Billy white shoes, the powder blue. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> ever, <laughs> nobody ever knows. I don't know nobody who it knows. is. See, so it was got it. They're out Somebody there. Did, but we don't it's know who there. it is. Maybe Someone Billy, out there has like the most complete, Mitchell and Ness collection ever, but they're yeah. not in any of our groups or social media, but they probably have like a warehouse full of like just every racks and dr every jersey. <laughs> Man, maybe Billy White Shoes Johnson have one. You ever tried like... Maybe maybe one of his family members You never yeah. know, bro. You never know. Maybe one of his family members I bought think, it, yeah. I, yeah, and you know what? Like you're completely... that That's like a, like a fact because like... There are people out there who collect oh, yeah. that don't have any social media whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They keep their collection private. Closet it's only for man. their own viewing pleasure or maybe, you know, close friends of theirs. But, like, they don't have anything, uh, like, out there. Like, no Facebook, no YouTube, no whatever <laughs> case may be. Um, and it's just crazy because, like, the amount of money we spend, we probably think it, it, a lot to us. But like to them, it's probably just oh, you know, it's just a little hobby, something I do on the right, side. Right. There's even but, people in our group who have mm. serious heat. You wouldn't know because they don't want to. Yeah, they they just don't want to show it all. I think Mike Scott is a great example of that. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah, I didn't want to say. Yeah, it. yeah he's we, never seen, we never seen a picture of his closet. We never, uh, seen, but we know he he has yeah. some shit. But we oh, we yeah. just never seen it. Oh yeah. Who? What about what about Eric Chow? Eric was one, yeah. Back he he had he 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 had a lot of stuff. I mean, obviously Double Z with with the daily pickups and every, all the stuff that he gets. And yeah, I mean, there's there's people that just you know they kind of you know, they they don't want to be out there as much as maybe the some of us do, but they got stuff. This this how much money. We're talking about because the guy. I don't, I'm gonna spoil a little bit, but the guy, there's the the car, the one of one LeBron was on auction. It was at like uh 1.9 million, That's not 1.9. Yeah, it was at 1.9 million. One crazy. of the guys called the auctioneer. He's like, "Hey, can you put a bid for me? Because I'm at the club. Like, <laughs> he's at the club chilling. He's like, oh yeah, hold on, let me just call real quick. Yeah, can you just put a bid for me? Because I'm busy for two million dollars. Like, what? That's like. <laughs> That's, that's like not, incredible. Like I'm like, telling oh, you, that's, I'm, not, I'm not around my. Uh, you know what I'm People, saying? I'm, like, I'm at a club right now. Can you just bid for me real quick? That's, that's their playing money right there. It's like you know, it's not going to affect their livelihood. It's not going to affect their. They don't got to pay in four. They don't got to. <laughs> they don't got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Bro. it's oh. literally just a hot. Like I know it's a hobby to us, but I know you can't tell me that not one time in our in our journey of collecting, we put this we made this a priority of uh our food sometimes our rent got fucked the, or you can't tell me that because oh, it's yeah, happened yeah. you know it's I happened to us at one point most addictive yeah I never, you know, went, I never went hungry but i made some dumb decisions 
or like I put a jersey over priority, like okay, cool, but that that no, that's you, you learn, you know. I'm saying? saying though, like there you can't tell me there hasn't been a time where we made a bonehead decision where we made that's this a priority right. over us because it's happened to I'm sure it's happened to me, I'm sure it's happened to everyone in the chat at some point in time, you know. Uh, but it it like with these people, it's like you think that it's happened to them. I, I mean, I highly doubt it. You know, maybe it did at one point, you know, but the likelihood of them dropping that much money, it, it goes to show that, like, I'm not convinced that they've ever went through hard times like that. Like, right. Drops, yeah. Do you feel, do you yeah. feel like, honestly, like, like, I'm not taking, I, I know Mighty's a collector. I know Slim's a collector and he'll always be a collector. I already know the way you think, Mighty, but I'm just thinking in general. Like, with somebody that has everything, because I feel like every everybody's unique has a unique collection. But when you have everything, it doesn't make you unique. You feel me? Like, I always feel like, no no shots at Zach, whatever. He's buying in bulk and bulk and bulk. It's like, yo, when you, like, you, we we don't know what kind of collector you are. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not trying to call him. I'm just using that as an example. Like when you buy everything, it kind of like what well, like what kind of color are you trying to build up for like just to have the racks, whatever. But I feel like everybody's collection is unique to them in some way. But if I was like my example, I'm bringing this up because if we was millionaires and you could buy every jersey ever, like do, doesn't it become kind of like it's not fun? You know what I'm not saying? Yet. Is because when you can just buy everything and have every colorway, every jersey is like. I don't know. It's not. It won't be. It wouldn't be fun. Like the hunt is not there. Like you, you don't get excited about shit. It's like oh, I got the money. I got everything. I got every jersey. Every every alternate jersey. Everything. But to me, it doesn't make you a jersey head. You know it, what I'm saying? It, it, it's funny because Slim and I talked about this multiple times. Right. What would be the one item that you would sell your whole collection for, if you had the guarantee of getting it right? And, and I think we both came up with, like, a, a vehicle of some sort. And, I, I you know, Slim had his. Mine was Ecto-1. And I said the problem with Ecto-1, I, I wouldn't be able to maintain it, but, boy, it would be fun to drive. <laughs> <laughs> but but there was a show. There was a show. I mean, honestly, we, you know, we do what we do with jerseys. And there was a show I used to watch from time to time. And it was one of those um, – one of those um, um, auto auction shows. And we're talking like prestigious vehicles, you know, the old muscle cars, everything in perfect condition, you know, whatever this Rolls Royce from this year, or that year, you know, old Ford products and such. And they would roll them up on stage and you would, you would get like, these guys would just be on phones talking to the buyers saying, this is how much I want to bid. This is how much I want to bid for these things. And it was it was just astronomical some of the prices. But, but that's like that to me. That's like that's like buying art because that that appreciates with value and yeah. time. That's to me like like art is art. But like something like that where you're talking about, that's something you can have sit in your garage and it will just get more valuable. Like the yeah. stuff we have is not getting valuable. As it, I can't buy a Mitchell Ness jersey today and flip it for triple yeah. the price, unless you're it there. Was, it was <laughs> for some reason, it triples everything. But yeah, it's, 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 it, it's it was how... fascinating because it wouldn't just focus on the, the part of the focus of the show was the, the the people who would go around saying and they would go to this. This is the bid. What do you want to bid? And they would go to this is the this is this. What do you, what do you want to match? Do you want? Like the focus money, was almost on those runners on the show that were trying to get all these bids to, to get the, the prices at what they were. It was a fascinating show. And this we're, I, we're talking, this is like over 10 years, 15 years ago. Probably. I know that, yeah. Yeah. Well, the one thing that messed me up that I can't get out of my, I think I said this before when I heard somebody say that we're just collecting for somebody else's collection, which that bothers me so much. Cause it's so true. Yeah. Cause we're lit. Everything, everything here. Is gonna eventually be in somebody else's collection. Yeah, which is is weird. Right now is mine. Well, it's all good. I'm not gonna live forever. Sooner or later, like all this shit is gonna be in somebody else's collection, which is like it bothers me like to have that mindset because we're just collecting for somebody else's collection, and it kind of takes away the fun for it if you think what? about it like that. 
to kind of, to kind of throw that the the question out there though to to see you know but like it does it bother you more about how much you have or does it bother you that something in there will eventually go to somebody else's collection rather than I think what, bo- what bothers me is they get it, if I have that mentality and it, it doesn't make it fun because like what it, you make you start questioning why the hell am I buying this if it's gonna be for somebody else because obviously. I have all these GI Joes. These GI Joes belong to somebody. So they, they, you know what I'm saying? I got vintage GI Joes. That was in somebody's collection. I got their collection now. Sooner or later, my GI Joes is going to be in somebody else's collection. Either, you know, if I sell it or something happens to me. But if I have that mentality, it kind of takes away, it kind of fucks with your head thinking like, what? Well, well, then what's the point? Yeah, you know I, get, I get what you're saying. It's also like if you think about it, snacks, like you remember the videos you used to make on YouTube, and how many of those jerseys wound up in Slim's collection and my collection and other people's collection, right? But at it, least I know, at least I know my my jersey collection is enjoyed, and people appreciate. Right. The shit that I, what I'm right. saying is, at the time when you were filming those those videos, you're not. That's not. That's not even coming in the mind. Right. And I know it doesn't come into my mind where I'm looking at stuff like, oh, I, all right, I'll add this, or, you know, whatever. I'm not thinking about and, – and, and I know Snash has said this many a time, right? You that, Look, you can't take it with you. You have to enjoy it. This, this is this is part of life, right? This is what we do. But um, I, I, it, it's hard to think in those terms of, well, I'm buying this now, but it's going to be – who, however many years from now it's going to be going to, to, to so and so, you know, I mean, unless some Indiana Jones guy comes in and says it belongs right. to the museum. But I, like, like <laughs> I'm not going to be negative or anything or or have this thought. But I did have I I did had my girl had a conversation. We was talking about you and your collection, and she asked me the legit question. I think I asked you this before. I was like, so what happens with Mighty's collection, like? Like she would, because we was watching hoarders, and I'm not comparing it to yeah. a hoarder, but the I'm thing is, no, 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 I, I, I'm, I I'm being, no, no, I'm, I'm not, all jokes aside, I'm not joking around. It's because if I'm not comparing like any any hoarder to have that if when they, if they pass away to have that burden on your family, what to do with it? Like do with all their stuff? They just throw it away. Obviously, you know the value. You know everything that that every jersey. Every jersey in your collection has a story. I know I know that for a fact. But if something happens to you, like do you have a game plan? Like that's always the, like I wouldn't want to have this burden on my girl if something happens to me. So I have to come up with a game plan for myself to like one try to get the most value she can when she sells it cuz I don't want somebody to take advantage of her. But I you know, but I want to get some kind of value or whatever. And I told her my jerseys, yo, spread it out to the kings of throwbacks. Like that's what I want, and I want everybody to just have whatever. But I, I, it's I don't want to think about death and I like that. I'm just I'm just. But you got to think about things like this. Does the my, does that thing something like that crosses your mind? I mean, <clears throat> it, it it it's hard because I I think it's just a different. I'm in a different kind of boat, and I'm not saying any. I know Rez, I know Snacks, P.O.B. I'm not sure if you have a significant other, but I I don't have a significant other. I Yeah, I mean, I don't have any kids. I'm not really looking. So for me, I, I can't think in those terms. But obviously, when you look around, I mean, I, look, I, I just, I mean, to be honest, I, I got some more z and I'm trying to reorganize to get some stuff here and so I'd make more room for other stuff up on the second floor. But I'm it, at, at some point, it's, it, the reality, the cold reality of the situation is at some point, it's going to have to be sold. It's going to have to be dispersed, however it's going to be, right? I would hope it's done correctly. And maybe at some point, I'm going to have, you know, you do. You have to start thinking of, okay, have well, that conversation. Yeah. I don't want this, like, I don't want all this stuff winding up at, like, you know. An estate sale, some stupid the, shit. Yeah, like something wrong. You know, I, I'd like someone else to enjoy this stuff. Right. Um, but it, it's, it's hard to, at this time to, to think in those terms, it's, but I mean, you, you know, you threw out the name hoarder and, and I'll, I'll admit, listen, I mean, you know, yeah, I, I, I get the jerseys and I keep them. I don't sell them. I've traded once in, in a blue moon 
it's just not something that comes in my mind of, well, I have to do this now. I have to, I have to move and sell, sell, sell. And maybe something happens in life and that happen has to happen down the road, but it's hard for me to uh, think in those terms, at least right now, maybe that. Yeah, yeah, like I'm out, the thing is, I don't want you to, I'm just bringing it up just out of curiosity because it's one of the conversations I have these conversations. Yeah. And- and it, it sucks because I don't want to have these conversations. We should be living life to the fullest. You, like you said, you never know. You shouldn't be thinking about this stuff. But my, I always think about I don't want to leave this burden to my girl or anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I understand what you're saying. Obviously, you, you just right now you're living day by day and you're just loving what you do and your collection and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't want, you know, something like like in the state sale, people just take advantage of your collection and not really cherish the, what you really have and stuff like that. And, and I think the one thing that kind of eye-opening deal uh, also was when we had, when I had already moved, we needed to get my mom out of the old house. It was too big. It was, it, it was not right for her. And she moved to an apartment and there was so much stuff because my mom was, she was a hoarder. There was a lot of stuff that we had to get out of that house before it sold. And my goodness, that was something. It just got to the point where just we I didn't even want to see anything else. I just wanted it all gone. We had we had the estate sale. It gave you anxiety, right? Like oh, all the anxiety was through the roof. You don't know how much stuff you have until you actually move, especially even if you when, live in a place. And she had for much years. less. Right. Even when and she had much less. Um, when we moved, when when she had to go to the assisted living. And she had all the stuff in the apartment. And we're talking about maybe, you know, a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen, a bathroom, a small apartment. Um, And the stuff that was in there that she couldn't have, we couldn't take to her uh, uh, where she lives now in assisted living. And she she used her her collecting was jewelry. When when I was younger, she would get all the jewelry. We had all this jewelry that we had to move from the old house to the apartment and it was still there. And obviously we couldn't take it into, she's living in a much smaller place now that she was before. So all the jewelry we had to pack up and I had to help pack all this stuff up. My dad took it and he's still trying to figure out what to do with it. But it, it, it is, it's, it's, a, you don't realize it until you have to, something happens and you have to, you have to disperse it. You have to move it. And my goodness, it, it hits you like a ton of bricks. It really, yeah, that's what happened to me when I moved here. It really I had, was. I so much as, I'm sorry, Rez. I don't mean to hold you up if you want to leave. No, nah. no, no, no. This is a good conversation. Yeah, that's the anxiety that I had when I moved. I got so frustrated. I just left stuff in the apartment. I left yeah. stuff collectibles because my anxiety was because so, you don't like I said, if you, especially if you've been living in in the same area, like the same spot for like years. You know, you're building up stuff. You're building up stuff, but when you have to move the stuff, oh yeah, and I'm like, bro, like this is way too much. This is too much. I got so yeah. much anxiety. It was crazy. It was really crazy. I know, Rez, you haven't got a. You got if I think if you had a fully move out of your old place, I think you would. I think you probably did feel a little bit of anxiety. But imagine if you had to take all the stuff from your parents' house and move it. Mm-hmm. That would be like. I mean, yo, be- like. If I if I'm telling you like to be a hundred with you guys, no, like it's I still have stuff there, but it's giving me anxiety knowing that my stuff is there. Right. Like because because like in the instance that my mom or my parents decided to be like, yo, like we're moving, like you gotta get rid of your stuff, then the pressure will be like, fuck, what am I gonna do? Right. And just the thought behind my head, like I still think about it. Like I'm, I'm already moved like in my new spot here, but like the fact that I know that I still have stuff there and even like certain stuff in my storage unit makes me feel a little uneasy because it, if something happens, yo, like there's a lot of things that could happen. House burns down. Somebody robs the place. God forbid. I'm thinking of the worst scenarios, but like right. if something happens like that, I don't want to be a burden. And like, it would just like, to 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 realize like fuck like I have to get rid of this shit. At that point, it's like yo, like I don't care how much it goes for. I just need to get it out of here. And but but it it's crazy that the, the mentality is like I I get what you're saying, but it's crazy because right now we're cool, everything's good. I don't want to get rid of my shit. I love my shit. I love all this stuff. But 
But when shit hits the fan, yo, that shit doesn't matter. Fuck this. I don't get I don't care about none of this stuff. Yeah. But that only happens when shit hits the fan. That mentality mm-hmm. changes. It's crazy how that happens. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But right now everything's cool. Everybody's safe. I'm happy. I'm, a, I'm in a happy place. I love my shit. But shit hits the fan. Like this ain't. This doesn't mean anything to me. Nah. It's crazy and, how, the, how it works. The, the mental part works. And it, you know what? Like I've tried to. I've tried to make the effort of letting stuff go, while right now it's still manageable, if if that's you know the right way to put it. Because like, you know, um, I I try to sell stuff locally. You know, like I, I don't post like for those of you who don't know, I have a market page on my IG, um, Closet of Res. Check it out if you guys are interested. But um, I have stuff on there that I sell. And if I if I sell it um, nine times out of ten, it's locally or through eBay uh, and I got to ship it out. But like I, I want to make an effort of making that page more uh, active. prominent and more active because it's like, yo, like I don't. I don't want to be stuck with all this shit. Like, yes, it's nice. Yes, I do want to have my stuff to display. Yes, it's my collection that I worked so hard for. But at the same time, I just don't see myself having to wear 300 different jerseys or, uh, you know, because like I told myself, yo, I want this shit to wear because like I collect this shit because I want to wear it. Wear your shit. You know, I'm always like advocating wear your shit, wear your shit. But you also got to be realist. Not every day are you going to be wearing a jersey. Not every day are you going to be wearing a graphic tee. Not every day are you going to be wearing, you know, there's different scenarios. And it, it's a conversation that I have. It's a battle in my head that I have with myself because I have to keep telling myself. Ultimately, the voice of reason is telling me, use that money, put it in your bank, spend it on memories like with your loved ones. You don't need any more shit. <laughs> like I keep telling myself this, you don't need any more shit. Use that money, invest it in a bank, you invest it in a house, whatever the case, something that you could pass down like and live your life without having to stress about this shit. Cause uh, trust me, like I go through this shit all the time. I even go yeah. through shit in my head. Like, Oh, like, yo, what if I get let go? I'm good because I have money to hold me. I have a collection that I could sell. What if, what if I, the day I lost my job or what if I lost my job and my house burned down the same fucking day. I'm fucked. Like I have literally no nothing to account. Assuming my, you know my stuff's insured, but like I had a conversation about this uh, one of my lives in the past about like uh, you know the worst. Like what what would you do if this had happened? And I remember uh, Mighty, you said that you would just pick up the pieces and start over. Like if that shit ever happened to me, I'm done. Like, I'm never going to go back to collecting in the same volume or level that I did, that I'm currently doing right now. Like, I just, I can't. Life's too short. You know, uh, it was fun. But, yo, like, that that's just too much time that I can't, I can't come, I can't get back. Mm-hmm. And I understand that a lot of this stuff takes a lot of time. And, you know, now that, I mean, I'm only 35, but, like, the mentality I have now that from the mentality I had back, you know, when I first started collecting and doing YouTube stuff, totally different now. Totally different. I mean, I still collect. And like I said, like f- five years from now, the person you're you're now is gonna be completely different too. Exactly. Be, that that's why that's why I think that, like like Mighty, I give you the most props because because you always been consistent, always been consistent, and you and you you handle your shit. <laughs> You have something that I dream of is having owning a being a homeowner, you know what I'm saying? And that's something that you have, that's something that and you get to enjoy your collection because you have a home, you know what I'm saying? You have your space for your collection, you have a space to display your stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I know Red, you've been consistent all the time, is but with me, it's like you know, I, I feel you like like my mentality changes almost every year now, man. And the jersey thing is cool because, like, I've been sticking to my guns, man. I've been – I traded for the fingers. I didn't buy the fingers. You know what I'm saying? I've been sticking to my Griffey, Bo, and Clemente jersey. My Clemente collection is done. The, my Schmidt collection, all I need is the rookie Schmidt, the number 22, whatever he wore. That's all I need. Griffey is just – I'm not, like, looking for it. Bo Jackson, I'm good. If they make a California Angels, 
um, Mitchell and Ness, I'll get it. Besides that, I'm good. So, and I, I sold a big chunk of my fucking collection, a huge chunk of my collection that I don't promote yeah. in or whatever, whatever. Yeah. But it's it's tra- it's crazy because I mean, maybe next next year I'm gonna be like, oh, I really want to get into hockey jersey. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's that addiction. It's like we're sports fans. That's the thing. Like I'm with me, my problem is I'm I'm stuck in the 90s era because that was like the, the happy era for me, man. That was like a really exciting era that molded me for who I am. And it's like I almost want to relive that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not living for today. I'm actually living for like that fucking 90s nostalgic, which I love. Right? The 90s was like the best era ever for me. And, you know, and this all this shit that I have is just reminds me of that era, even though G.I. Joe was like 80s. But it's just, I don't know, man. What we hold, I think to, to me, all of us has some kind of mental, not a bad thing. Like it has a mental hold on something that the reason we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? Even if you yeah. collect baseball cards or whatever. The thing is, I collect a lot of shit. It just happens to be an automatic. But you're always collecting something, right? That's the <laughs> mentality. Why, why yeah. do I need this? Why do I need yeah. this? Why do I need the <laughs> Power Ranger Power Dome? I don't need this. But it's fire. You know? It's something I always wanted as a kid. I, now I have it as a 42-year-old man. But whenever you oh, post man, all the stuff on Instagram and the stories and all, it just it always brings back all the nostalgia. I'm like looking at him like, oh, I remember seeing that at Toys R Us back in the day. That's how I that's how I am. Like I'm into like the thing is like throwback key, like I, I actually I kind of want my collect like you kind of spark something in me. Not a bad way, but like I kind of wanna like do that too, where I kind of want to collect like not everything, but like I want the majority of my collection to be nostalgic shit that I grew up with. So right, like VHS right. tapes, for example, right? There's a couple of VHS yeah, movies. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of VHS movies that I want uh, just to, to display. And, you know, the same thing with like, just like old school game cartridges, like from the Super Nintendo days. Like I have a couple in mind. <laughs> like, this is, like that's what I'm saying though. Cause like, it's a memory that you attach yourself to. Right. And that kind of reminds you of that memory because it was a simpler uh, time for you and for myself. And I kind of feel that way too about like wrestling. That's like that's why like for me like I collect a lot of wrestling, like mainly John Cena shit. But like I get a lot of like I'm, I ask myself, I'm like, why the fuck did I buy this John Cena tee from 2004 when they just like remade it? Or I I just don't see myself wearing it. Like I just want it because it's like it fucking reminds me of a time when Cena wore this or whatever. But is, is there a part of you, like I always say, is there a part of you? Because there was a part of me too. Like I, I got, you know, if I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk what I like some real shit. Like my Iverson collection. That's like my baby. Like Iverson and Roberto Clemente are like right here. I'm mostly Iverson because I got to see Iverson play. I saw his whole career. Hmm. And like I want to get everything Iverson. I buy a lot of Iverson shit. It doesn't make me less of an Iverson fan because I don't have the specific jersey that he wore, but it feels like that. Like, I need this jersey because I am an Iverson fan. I need to have this or I'm not a real Iverson fan, which I think we all gone through that. Obviously, you guys have collection. Like, you, I know you guys collect a lot of shit, but, like, Mighty, Mighty Tuck collects uh, uh, Curry stuff. Like you need to have that co- to complete your collection, or your collection will be kind of off. <laughs> so you can't, you can never claim I have the whole Curry run, but you don't have this jersey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it comes to Iverson, like almost like it's like an addiction. It's like yo, it's like it, it's not gonna make me less of an Iverson fan. It's not gonna make you less of a Curry fan if you don't have that specific jersey. But and we have that mental that mental battle is like. No, nah, I need that collection because if I'm claiming I'm a big Iverson fan, I gotta have this Iverson piece. Did you get that and, newish figure that came out of Iverson? That I guess bro. that standing, he's kind of just standing. I don't yeah. think it's posable, but he's just kind of nah, yeah. There he, there he is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, got, you got the big one too, right? It. You got the big one too. Yeah, yeah. the big one. I saw that at GameStop. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Like bear that costs are, money right there. Yeah, bear bricks are fucking. I got one. Actually, there is a bear brick that I want, but it's fucking, it's mad expensive. And it's from one of my artists uh, that passed away. Uh, it's called New Jabez. 
don't know if you heard of him. Yeah, but um, Jun Seba is the guy. He was Japanese. He passed away, like, but he was really big in the 2000s, and he does, like, a lot of, like, jazz, hip-hop, like, lo-fi um, shit. And, he, you know, he's, like, very – he's, like, compared to, like, the Jay Dilla of Japan, if you would. Like, that's what people right. compare him to. But they released the bear brick of one of his albums that came out. And I'm like, fuck, I really want to get it. But it's like going for like 400 bucks. And I'm like, fuck, I don't know if I could drop that. That's But that, like, you know what I'm saying? Then then you turn around like a, like a month later, you spend over $400 on it. Exactly. Like, that, that's what I was that, that would be one meaningful piece. Whatever. Right. Can you highlight real money? Because I, I disagree. Because I don't want to. I don't want to, my, my drive in life shouldn't be to hold my collection. Like I don't see on the flip side, I'm going to read this on the flip side, having a collection can drive you to work hard to keep your collect, keep the collection and not fold to where you need to sell it. To me, like that mentality is I can't have that mentality because I'm not, I'm not working and living life for my collection. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that's what I, that's what I'm reading. Well, because, yeah, and just to add to that, too, it almost feels like your collection own, owes, owns you, yeah. you know, like, like, like it doesn't, it shouldn't be that way. It should be the other way around where it's like, I, you know, it, this is the way it is because me, not because I got to do this because it's part of the collection. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, it, it, I guess it's just a way of, of looking at it. And then the YouTube, the YouTube stuff doesn't help either. No, like no. knowing, like hey, Rez, Rez, Rez is the 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 Bay Area guy. You know what I'm saying? If I need to know something about, I know he's gonna have it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if you don't have it, they're gonna question you. Like, but well, you're supposed to have every Warriors jersey. Like, how come you don't have this jersey? You're not a Warriors fan. Like, they kind of question your your fandom because yeah. you don't have a certain jersey. Like, you literally just show the Lakers jersey. <laughs> and people think like you're a sellout. Like what the hell? But th my thing is like, bro, we have a Kings member that's on. The, the, besides everything, I always like, yo, we have a Kings member that's on the fucking news showing jerseys. That's that's dope. Yeah, I don't care what you were showing though. We have a Kings member that's, you know, anything that that puts a, a a spotlight on the jersey community is dope to me. No matter what the hell you're showing, you know. Yeah. No, I mean, and that's that's kind of you know like that kind of fueled me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, like. When I got interviewed on the news and they were doing my my you know coverage to uh, the Lakers Warrior series and stuff like that, like it almost fueled me to get more fucking Warrior shit and 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 piggyback off that. But the thing is, like, there's some Warriors jerseys that I just don't like. Like, I find disgusting. I find like like oh like I would never wear that. But the collector side of me is telling me, yo, but you need it for the collection. Right, collection. What would, would it feel incomplete? You know what I'm saying? That's exactly, because and you know, like it makes me feel like, well, you know, I'm not really a Warriors fan, then I'm not really a diehard if I don't have this, and I'm just like, nah, man, like I gotta get rid of that fucking mentality. That's the thing. That that it's that's so hard. Sold, one thing I regret. I sold my Roberto Clemente rookie card, and it's something I, I told myself I would never sell, but I sold it. Does that make me less of a Roberto Clemente yeah. fan? No. no, but I regret it. Yeah. I kind of feel like my collection is has a hole in it because that's the grail of any Roberto Clemente item. But doesn't make me less of a Roberto Clemente fan. I think, um, yeah, I I haven't done that to where I sold something where I was like, fuck, like this is my holy grail. Like I haven't done anything like that. But um, there have been things that I have have gotten rid of where i was really shocked like i like it, it i'm having like seller's remorse like, fuck i should have sold something else but to know like the money i got out of it and to know that it's like saved for something better you know or something that happens you know that may happen in the future is more it, it lets it lets me sleep at night it gives me a peace right. of mind because because again like everything's retainable ooh. it might and we might not find it tomorrow but every jersey that I thought of that I thought I would never have in my collection, I ended up having in my collection. I had it, I enjoyed it, and I ended up selling it. Yo, I'm never gonna sell that. You know, I'm not even I could be like mighty, like I'm not selling shit. But that's why we have like, YouTube. Sooner or later, that's what I'm saying. Any jersey that you can think of, all it oh, takes yeah, is a little time and money, and that's it. You know, I like how many times have I sold my Iverson collection? At least four times. Now it's like at its capacity, I'm good. 
you know? So yeah. everything is worth everything, unless you have like a one of one that you can never find again. But everything's retainable, man. I can sell this whole joke. I can sell this whole wall, and next year I can have the same wall over again. You know, so it, right. It's it's yeah. like I told you. I think last week, whereas like, uh, you know, I have obviously it, it's that it's that dual personality. You're a fan of your teams, and not everyone does it this way. But you collect the collector and use getting all these different stuff, right? So I have Celtics jerseys, and I won't even walk into the room where the NBA jerseys are during the playoffs. It's, I don't even want to eyeball them. Like I didn't. <laughs> that's how bad it is for me. They're there, you know. I got Bird and the few didn't. And they're and, and I'm no, no Bill Russell. No, no, no. Can't go in. No, 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 no. I I, I should just close the door. I I just don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> but, I mean, but, like but the collector. I mean, I have them. They're they're in the collection. I mean, you know, it. it but th- I try to draw that line, but it's just so difficult, you know. No, like I get it. Like I trust me. Like I don't have as much volume as you do, like jersey wise. But like I have things where I have like constantly had conversations with myself. Like, should I sell this? Should I not? And you know, it's funny. I ask my wife sometimes. I'm like, like, babe, should I get rid of this? And she's like, I have no idea. Like, I have no input whatsoever and i keep like i go through a list of pros and cons and i try to figure out what outweighs what and I, I, sometimes like the rational side of me is just like just fucking rip the band-aid off just yeah. rip it off. it's gonna hurt but it's not gonna hurt forever you know once 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 you rip that off that's it it's done like i, I think the cure all the cure all for everything which is it's it's I only say it's impossible because mentally I'm telling myself that and it's stupid to say that is get out of social media. That's the only way. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, like I, we're, but we're all addicted to it. That's that's we're what I'm saying too. It. I was saying this earlier, uh, you know, in one of my lives that I said, like, yo, like I think the only way I'm gonna stop like getting back into jerseys again or like stop buying jerseys if I just like go away from the community, like disappear. And because look, when I started buying jerseys again, where did I go back? I started going back on Kings. I started posting again. I started looking at other people's say. I started liking posts. I want to be a part of the community still, but it fucking is hard because it's like almost like when you like let's say you're trying to stop drinking, right? And you're in a room full of people that are drinking and they're having fun, they're fucking celebrating, they're getting that nice feeling. How does and you're out, you know, you're just there like I'm trying to quit. Like, how is that going to put you in a situation that you're trying to get out of when you're literally putting yourself in that type of? I, I, I agree with you 100. percent But with me going looking at Kings, I see it as to me now. I'm like living through y'all. Like, I, I get excited when somebody gets their grails and posts stuff, and it's exciting for me. Like, they see, we're like we're we're both Jersey heads, but I have a different mentality when it comes to the social media thing. It doesn't get me more hyped up to buy something. You feel me? But that's just me because that's the way I'm thinking now. But I would trust me, I know where you're at. But it's like we say all these things and we 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 have these great conversations, and then tomorrow you're over here like, oh shit, maybe I should look at that 40% off sale. You know how many things I put on my I, I put on my so I put it in my cart and I see how much it comes out to. Yeah. I'm like, fuck that, and I'm good. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm hoping like hurry up the sell needs to end already because that that little addiction start kicking in because i really like those turn ahead the clocks and now they have three xls and i can wear three xls and because they run small and like like they have the frank thomas i really like i'm like do i i don't need that i, I have that too it's funny because i just i just like pulled it out right now like earlier that's today. what i'm saying but the thing is i think i think you'll appreciate your your collection more if you just randomly start wearing your shit like just take a jersey that you never worn and just fucking wear it one day and it was difficult because we all work nine to fives you know what I'm saying? And then we only got the weekends to really stunt like that. And then when the weekend comes, I just want to wear something comfortable. I, I don't want to be in a jersey that's too hot and all this stuff. And I end up wearing the same fucking shit. Like some, you know, some joggers and a t-shirt and the same sneakers all the time. But I always tell my in my head, I'm like, one day I'm going to wear this jersey. I'm going to kill him. And I never do. I haven't worn a Roberto Clemente jersey since, since I went to the museum. But I have a huge Roberto Clemente collection. I don't wear, but I see it as 
just like part of my Clemente lore, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things, man. Without social media, you guys would never know I have a Roberto Clemente <laughs> collection. So that's part of the the addiction to to the because there's groups. I'm on, I'm in a Bo Jackson group. I'm in an Iverson group. I'm in a Clemente yeah. group. On yeah. Facebook, we, that's where we get to post, and everybody gets, you know, somebody that shares the same love with Roberto Clemente. I get to share it with them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you're not, you're not helping, Sam. <laughs> you're not helping put that time limit I on. Got the Grizzlies warm up jacket. That's all I got out of that sale. I, I, I was looking at the, the I was looking at the Phillies uh, World Champion batting yeah. practice. Yeah, and I'm like, Dude, I want that I want. so bad, but. I'm like, it, I don't need it now. It's summertime. I'm not gonna. Yeah, wear I was it. on the fence. I was on the fence with the. I almost, I almost got a couple of the batting practice stuff, but I said, I'll just stick with just the jacket. But you know, I have um, I, for almost a year now. I've had these. New, uh, well, they're not new anymore, but neighbors next door, and they have two kids, and they're real. Like the kids are real in the sports. Like they're always out there, basketball, lacrosse, soccer, whatever, and football. And like part of me always is like, well, should I ever invite them in and just kind of show them the jerseys? And this is like the hit, like try to teach it. This is the history. This is what the jerseys were. I mean, I'm sure they would, they, they wouldn't quite, maybe not quite understand, but they would probably enjoy it. You know, here's the history. You know, this is what these jerseys used to be. This is what the players used to wear them like this and like that. But uh, part of me is like, I don't want to look like Mr. Creepy, you know, so, <laughs> hey, come on inside. Um, but I, you know, maybe someday, you know, maybe someday, cause I, it would be kind of interesting to see if there is like that appreciation, you know, I mean, but, I'm sure but they have it, no idea. Like, social media has gotta be, cause, <laughs> cause think about it. What else? So like you have one of the most amazing Jersey collections ever. Yeah. And without social media, like nobody would ever know. My thing is like, and then. Like I always say, we're the we're the Jersey heads in our in our in our neighborhood. Like, there's nobody that I can relate to that will understand me. There's no one in my idea. I don't know if you know somebody up the street or in your block that can understand your Jersey collection and appreciate it. Somebody would be like, "Yo, that's fucking look." So somebody walk into your apartment, like, "What the fuck is this? yo? You're crazy." But for us, like, "Oh, that shit's awesome." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's tough because you know, like that's that's great. Maybe the kids will look at you like, yo, this guy has a lot of jerseys. And that's all they see. Or you hear people talking about jerseys in your head. You're like, oh, yeah, in my head, yeah, I don't know about my jersey collection. You know what I'm saying? That's all you have. You know what I'm saying? You think it in your head. Like you they wanted talk. me to play tag with them the other uh, some time ago. And I'm like, no, I, I would just be it the whole time. I, I couldn't catch anybody. That, that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> the parents got a good chuckle out of that one. I said, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. Yeah, they literally that, ran that up is, and like tagged me and ran. I'm like, yeah, that, that's the scary about social media. How we like we like to show our collections and our houses and shit like that. I mean, you never know. You know, I don't put that out in the air, but you, it's right. Like people, we're showing our we're showing our cribs, we're showing like our apartment, we're showing yeah our collections, and then people can just plot on you. But I don't. I doubt people are plotting to to steal jerseys and shit. Yeah, Sam, I, yes. I would do that, but you, you can't remind me of the no hitter in the World Series last year because that was a. a... <laughs> yeah, nah, the sneaker thing, that's that's a whole different topic. Like, my mentality has completely changed with sneakers. Like, you know, I still buy stuff, but like, as far as, as what, how many you need to have, or, you know, there being a. A certain amount that you have to have to be consider yourself a shoe head like it's just a false narrative man like i don't I, know I, I learned that i learned that lesson quick once my sneakers started shattering on me and i was like yo this shit ain't worth it no nah. I'm, I'm just went i literally went from you saw my big wall to like i got six seven eight nine i got nine pairs of sneakers and i'm good i'm yes. happy I'm that's that's a that's great you know what i mean like i haven't gotten there yet but i know for sure, my mentality has changed, uh, you know, because like I'm not I'm not seeing stuff appealing to that I did a couple years ago, you know, three or four years ago. Like I just I'm just buying like, to I'm buy, good. like buying to exactly. catch up, and stay with the with the trends and stuff the like trends that. And shit. Yeah. yeah, like I don't do that no more. And uh, I'm not knocking anybody that does it, but I just don't see the value in doing that because I feel like it's almost it, it's this false narrative that. 
you know, this this trend or or set of uh, you know what what's in, what's not. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't see the value in it anymore. And it, like, I want I want my collection to represent me, and I want it to be something that I really enjoy. Like. And if I'm wearing it once every few years, it's probably time to go, you know, and uh, it's hard. It's hard. I'm not saying it's easy because I go through those battles all the time. It's hard. Trust me, because especially when you associate memories with, you know, these shoes or any object, really, it it really becomes difficult to to understand clearly and, and figure out what, you know, what to get rid of and what to keep and stuff. Yeah, I decided to not buy any more like remake stuff and like when it comes to toys and collectibles like i don't want to buy i want to buy stuff from that from the actual year i don't want to buy like statues and like i'm done with that because i figured i was like you know what i'm trying to if i want to get something nostalgic i'd rather get it from when it came out from that year you know what i'm saying i know it could be a little costly but yeah but the sneaker game is is that's a whole different that's a whole different Oh, uh, you can't you can't replace memories. I mean, that's first no, and foremost. Man. Nostalgia, no, nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is is that when you make those fucking impulse buys and you and you look at it like, why the hell that? When you tell yourself, why the hell did I buy that? But the thing I the one, one the thing is like, yo, we have these conversations at least three times a year. These same oh, yeah. conversations they come up, yeah, they come back still, up, and we're still in the same the same circle. You know, even though sometimes they, maybe we we slow down a little bit, but not as much. But he's kind of, you know, start thinking about it. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. So I think I'm yeah. gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap it up because I got, um, I know it's late in the East Coast. It's midnight over there, and yeah, um, sure. I still got to eat dinner, uh, and stuff like that, and finish up some things. But I want to thank everybody, man, uh, that hopped on this evening. Um, you know, y'all were live the whole entire night, man, which is great. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to see live like this. It really sparks conversation part of the reason why these lives go as long as they do is because you guys you the uh, the community the viewers uh the participants in here you know that and and i open this floor to anybody anybody wants to hop out i can't tell you how many times people hit me up like yo res i want to go on but like you know i forgot or you know like something's wrong with my phone bro like even if something's wrong with your phone you can still use the chat you know what i'm saying like if if you want to participate and if you want to be live with me, hit me up because I would love to have new faces on here. You know, I love all the returning uh, members of the, you know, the the live streams and stuff like that. Um, everybody that's live with me right now has their own respective channels where they do content similar to mine. Uh, so check them out as well. You know, uh, and if there's a, if you miss this live, if you're catching the, the tail end of this live, but want to hop on in the uh, next live, I do these lives every Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do take requests of topics as well. So if there's something that I did not talk about that you would like me to talk about, or if there's something you even want me to highlight uh, from a previous live, um, you know, that that's always uh, welcomed as well. Uh, but you guys have any closing thoughts? I know this this conversation is kind of jumped roller coasters a little bit but you guys yeah, that's what the live is about is just having these conversations and shit i know i know mighty mighty came in here hot <laughs> yeah i i, I, I apologize Coming in hot. I, apologize. I uh i didn't even you know the thing about i didn't even feel like me it was like the hide version of me came out and it was Bruh. uh I, I maybe some slime from ghostbusters 2 got on me i i, I don't know <laughs> i i I, it, that was I, I don't even know what happened there. I, I guess something just had to blow out. I, and I, 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 I do apologize and for people watching the replay of this. Yeah, that was a uh, but but I uh, I, I, I thank I, I thank uh, you again, Rez and, and all for the the uh, uh, the platform again just to come and talk for you know every week at, at most weeks I should say and uh, I know the conversations always are interesting and, 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 you know, we keep it as lively as we can. And, um, you know, you know, I love all of you and even you, Adam, you know, if he watches this, Adam, <laughs> you know, but, um, but no, it, it's, uh, it, it's always, it's always a good time. And, and I, 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 uh, I value all of you and, uh, 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 again, Rez, thanks for the platform. And I, I I'll try not to pull up again. I, I don't know what happened. I, uh, I look and and 
I don't mean like bad or anything, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, uh, snacks. You know, I know you said sports can be very toxic. It's very true. Sometimes I gotta check myself too, because like sometimes I get heated, like especially right now with the Lakers Warriors series. Like my girl's a Lakers fan, Uh-oh. and she was talking to me in the car, Uh-oh. and she's just like Lakers won, and I was like fuck the Lakers, fuck this shit. Like I was like legit pissed. Like I erupted it and I was just like, bro, it's just a fucking game. Like chill. Like it's not that serious. But I get it because we get so invested and you get very protective of it because it's something that you're very passionate about. And I understand where you're coming from, Mighty. But like I just want you all to know, like, I want you to know, Mighty, that like we all love you, bro. Like, we don't have any, we're not trolling, like we're trolling, but like we don't mean it to personally attack something that you're very passionate about. Cause we understand. We understand as a sports fan where you're coming from. You know, it's almost like something from one pipe went into the other. And instead of letting out something for one thing, I was letting it out for something else. That's the best way I can explain about it. But, uh, but yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, Sam brought it. What, what, uh, what's, what's the dog wearing today? Is it still, uh, uh, purple Uh, and gold or is it uh, a blue and gold? He's, he's naked today. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> he's got to take a bath. So, <laughs> yeah. But nah, my, um, you know, it, it's going to be a good – I think the Warriors, like, obviously had a good run. It is what it is. Uh, but I, I don't see the Lakers getting past this series. Well, I, say that, I say that as a realist. I say that as a realist. I think. And they're not going away. I mean, it – you know, regardless of how this series ends, I'm sure they'll retool and they, they still have listen, they have a great ownership, I, they have a great coach, and they I've still have, this. have some players. I mean one more. I've been saying this. Might not be this season, but I see the one thumb. More. <laughs> you need the thumb. <laughs> I just I just need one. <laughs> I need to start with one. <laughs> So, all right, guys. Well, uh, you guys have any closing statements? Yeah, shout out to episode 69. Well, I just want to say- 69. <laughs> 69. Yeah, I just want to say uh, thanks for having me on, man. It's just great to, you know, listen to the OG Jersey heads, just gaining more knowledge. That's all I can say. Yeah, and shout outs to POB for having uh, working two jobs, bro. Hustling. That's the true definition of a hustler right there. Absolutely. So, exactly. I'm, a hustler I'm, I'm will find any way to make a dollar. Man. Update that profile picture, man. That, Yo, that's if you want to be. Yeah. Yo, POB, talk to, me off, talk to me off air, man, because I found a I, I found a way. If anybody wants to make some side money, I I, I, I got you, bro. You run your pyramid schemes Uh-oh. over here. <laughs> oh, no, bro. I'm, just right, you know, no, I'm interested. I'm interested. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, I'm just I'm trying fine. to. That's, Right, like I said, all, all, I'm about that paper, dog. That's what it's all about for me. Hey, hey I got goes you. down bro. in the bay. Just hit, just hit me he up. Goes down in the bay. <laughs> Rez, Rez, Rez is gonna be like meeting people. At, what, what was that bad area again? What was the name Hunter's of that point? place? The point. Hunter's point. Oh, Hunter's point. right. Rez is gonna be meeting people. This is it gonna be like, like a, like a, like a, a, a warehouse? You have to have a secret knock. It's a big <laughs> guy's guy gonna this come at little- the door. What do you want? The same, the same no. old pyramid scheme. This is a hundred percent legit. Trust no, me. Rez is gonna come out like Nick Fury with an eye patch and a black trench coat. Like that's what I'm just <laughs> the like, Avengers all putting it together a team. <laughs> the, the, the door's gonna open up and the sharks mascot's gonna be in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, fellas. I'm gonna end the live now. Thank you guys for hopping on again. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week. All right. All right. Hey, I'm sure. Take care, man. Hey,